we're going fast today, okay? So everyone get the hell strapped in because we're going to do this. And so what I'm thinking is that I want to create a system right now because this has been this whole Vim APM, this whole Vim Tower Defense. It's the same thing, right? We're building the exact same thing. What we need right here is we need a Golang. Wow, that was weird looking. Golang TCP. Okay, this is feeling strange when I type. A uh, Golang TCP server that I can kind of like launch anywhere, right? And this thing, thank you very much, Call Me Yogurt, okay? We're in it today and we're going fast. Yes, this stream is literally negative 194 seconds before it starts, but we're going fast, okay? We're going smooth, fast, and liquidy creamy, okay? Uh, and then we need to have a, uh, a Lua a Lua client side for all of this. And what I need to be able to do is I need to be able to have insta inside of here, I need to be able to have like parsing modules, right? Parsing modules. We need to be able to have command modules. To just do all that shit that we need, right? I want it to be nicely tested and delicious. And then I need the mirror versions of those inside the Lua version that can do the other side of parsing and sending. We want two-way communication, all right? We want to be able to communicate not just from Lua to Vim or from Vim or from a Go link to Lua, but we want it on all sides, okay? We want two-way communication via this TCP goodness. We want to be able to have all of this, and of course, we need every, not WebSockets. We can't do WebSockets. I mean, we could do WebSockets, but we're not doing WebSockets. We're doing TCP, baby, okay? We have our own framing protocol. Like, that's what we're doing. Uh, and then on top of that, we also need versioning, right? Like, versioning is extremely important, and that's something that we need to have. And so this is what we're building, and this right here is going to be known as Vim with me. Vim with me and this is going to be all the stuff not grpc people not grpc okay it's not going to happen uh no you didn't miss the introduction this is the introduction okay so we're gonna have vim with me which is going to be effectively a tcp com protocol uh for uh lua and golang so that way you could launch it up on a server i'm still going to potentially use if they have it available i've been talking to them uh Azeon, or i'm going to be using uh fly.io as like my home base uh, like felt like I joined an hour in. No, 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 no. We, we haven't joined an hour in. You're literally joining the, at the tip of the hot dog right now. We're about to go full length hot dog. Okay. Protobuf is not shit. Protobuf is fantastic. You're an ignorant slut, but hey, uh, I said uh, you suck in TJ's channel, and so I wanted to say it here too, so people don't think I speak behind your back. Thank you, Beastco. You know, Beastco is one of the few people I trust to stab me in the front. Okay, and that's. A real friend. You know what I'm talking about? Giga Chad, Beast Co. Anyway, so we have TCP communications. I want to have some, like, uh, let's see, some display caching slash rendering uh, for uh, some. How, how do we do this? Like, uh, display control on Golang to NeoVim, right? And then I want to be able to have this. This is going to be like sectioned out. I want to be able to have this on many NeoVims. So that way you guys can play with this. Then it also is going to come with a chat. Uh, a chat. Well, oh, there's a mouse that just ran by. I got to kill that thing. Goodness gracious. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. A Twitch chat will also be piped into this. So this is like my goal with Vim with me. And then I'm going to also have inside of here, I also want to be able to have a uh, production monitoring. So you can actually like see your stuff running live, what's happening, all that good stuff. PETA alert, dude. I'll kill that effing mouse if I can get another chance to. Um, uh, you got mice in the house? I'm in a barn. Okay, first off, friend. I'm in a horse barn, and uh, we obviously don't have everything closed off. Thank you, shit drums. Get a cat. Don't kill it. What do you mean? I had 16 cats. They all died by by literally by eagles and cars and coyotes. Okay, it's effing hard to keep a, keep a cat out here. 16, yeah, I started with three. Those three made 16. Those 16 made dinner for, for hawks. Okay, get an eagle and a coyote. I know, I know. Smash it, smash it with your giga cheat neo. You're just, yeah! Tough, I know. So there you go. So this is what I'm going to be building. I think this is really good. Then I was also going to build in here uh, on top of it, uh, user management. Right, so you could actually get users logging in via chat. I think that's pretty clever. We're not do we're rolling our own auth, if you will. But but the the auth is extremely simple. Whirling Tomcat, thank you. 
Uh, literally, all it's going to be, you want me to change the color? Yeah, 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 we can change the color, baby. We can change that color. How about green? You want it to feel like, oh, yeah, we got ourselves some of that atomic green. Let's go. Let's go. Atomic green. Uh, my man, no problem. Does this watching stream being productive or should I get the fuck out and actually study? Uh, your choice, uh, you know, user, user, user adventure. Okay. So this is what I want to do with Vim with me. I've been thinking about this just nonstop because what this allows me to do, what this allows me to do is that I will have the entire platform to much more easily create the Vim tower offense game, right? Like that's not going to be hard at all. And I'll also have all the building pieces and everything I need to be able to build Vim with or uh, Vim, uh, Vim APM, right? These are the exact same problem, right? They're identical. They're identical. And so as you can see, this is fantastic. So I'm going to build this whole gosh dang thing all off of this. Uh, only Twitch chat, no YouTube chat. Yeah, YouTube chat does not get to play, okay? Hey, YouTube chat, you guys don't get to play, okay? You know, like I like you guys. You guys are great, but you don't get a play, okay? You don't get a play, and that's that. And so right now, let us in. No, nabra, nabra. Whereas uh, if we pop it out and we go over here, we got this. Nice try, YouTube chat. Hey, hey, YouTube chat. Have you have you tried have you tried sucking it? Monka TOS. Yeah, wait, is he streaming on both platforms? Suck, YouTube. All right, perfect time to join the chat. Good job. Well done. Tokyo! Appreciate that. Whirling Tomcat, thank you for the six months in advance. Shadrums, thank you very much for the brand new Twitch Prime. Uh, Yogurt, thanks for the five, Jack, Vincer, and next door, Nate, Nasty Nate. I already said thank you, but thank you one more time, okay? You guys ready to do this? I'm pretty ready to do this. I'm actually, like, super excited. Sudden jump in viewers, yeah. Suddenly. YouTube doesn't do that. More like PooTube. Got him. You're welcome, dude. Who's your favorite intern? Um, pick. Easily. Easily, because Pick doesn't insult me like Beast Co. does. It hurts my feelings. So I like, I like, I like Pick more, obviously. Bertrand, you insult me too much. Hey, thank you, Flotron and Sick Owl and Dejaz for that two gifted subs. Let's go, baby cakes. Fucking pick. What a suck up. <laughs> pick. All right, thank you, P Matt. All right, so you ready to do this? So, this is what I've done so far. All right, so this is kind of like my basic idea, is that we're going to have a nice TCP stream, which will have some outs and some, uh, you know, we have a read-write. I, I don't know how to do this yet. I'm thinking about how I want to do this, okay? Still, I don't know yet, uh, because there's going to be a lot of a lot of channels that could come and go. So I, I think I need a lock. I don't know how to fan out properly, so that's maybe something I could learn about. Um, if you have a command... I, you can send it. It's going to spread this command across all the listeners. And so I'll just do a little read lock, read unlock. Very, very nice. I'll listen. If you call listen, like as in a new a new, a new, new listener to all of these things, like a new TCP connection, it will add. It'll have to do a lock. It'll have to do a write lock. Grab this, append it, have more of these. We can remove listener, another write lock. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go. And then we just simply create a nice little t uh, create a command spreader. And then uh, we have malformed this. We can parse command bytes very fantastic um i like this i like what's happening we have a little command parser that just keeps on running over and over again also love that very happy about that and then we have our little tcp listen where i listen to things to go to the tcp and things and commands coming in right so if i get a command in i gotta send it out to my main program and if a command comes in to write out i go out and write it out and so that's why we have this whole like fan out i don't know how to do a proper fan out uh thing yet uh, some things I don't know about Go. Like, one thing I don't know about Go, and maybe this is just my ignorance and I wrote way too much code for something that's already handled. Uh, but maybe this is, a, I, I just, you know what, forget about it. Let's just create a quick little test here. In fact, it's super easy to create a quick little test. Uh, let's go like this. Let's have, um, like, one thing I don't know about it is when, with channels, which is do channels, uh, if you have multiple things listening to channels, it doesn't necessarily, uh, let's see here, test. I'll just call it. Oh, wait, I can't call it test. Let's call it um, a foo, I guess, whatever we call it, main.go. Let's do this package, uh, main, there we go, funk, main, do that. Hit them with one of those, and we'll go like this. Uh, uh, C equals, actually, we should probably put one of those, and we'll go like this. Make a uh, chan int, why not? And I'll go like this, go funk myself. Oh, baby. Go, oh. Uh, for, um, uh, what is it? 
how do how do I just read? Isn't there like a range? Uh, it's like four something like uh, you know uh, X uh, in range of channel. There we go, and we'll do that, and we'll go like this: FMT uh, print LN. Let's see, we'll go print F uh, from Chan one, right? Oh, yeah, we'll call it channel. It's not really from Chan one, uh, whatever. From number two, and then we're gonna go like this: four ten, and I'm gonna go Chan. Yeah, that. There we go. Perfect. I'm curious what I'm gonna get out of this because actually I have no idea what what happens here. You know. You know what I mean? I have no idea. See, this is what I thought might, okay, so that is more surprising for me. Okay, I didn't know about that. Why, por que, por que Maria, por que Maria, right? Why is it zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? What happened to these other two right here? I guess I could do a little weight group, right? Uh, weight, uh, uh, weight equals, what, what is that, sync? Is it sync, weight group? I think that's what it is. Uh, wait, wait, add one, right? And uh, wait, done. That's probably, it's probably not the way you want to do that. It's probably not the way you want to do that, but whatever. Wait, uh, what is it? Done. Is that, what, what, what do we, what's, what's the thing that I got to do? Is it, oh, wait, it's probably wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. You love go. All right, so there we go. All gall routines are asleep. Deadlock. Ah, oh, damn, we're in a deadlock points. Oh, it's because it doesn't know that the thing has closed. Ooh, yeah, it didn't close the channel. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you feel? Do you feel that? Are you feeling that? Are you feeling that? Okay, so there you go. This is my worry. This was my worry here, people. Is this is that it doesn't spread? See, I needed it to spread. I wanted every channel to receive the same thing, so I had to build this infrastructure to do that. Is there like a go way to do this? Are you on reed mill? What the hell's reed mill? A treadmill? What is it? Is there a way to do that? Hey, thank you, spread me, daddy. Thank you, Valini. Let's go. Is there like a uh, package format sync function main? Okay, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. No co doco. No co doco. These nuts. Okay, hold on. Uh, I need, I need, effectively, I need fan out pattern, but I couldn't find a good fan out pattern. I kept looking on the internet for fan out pro patterns, but I couldn't find them. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, here, we'll, we'll get rid of that. All right, your stuff got all effed up. Your stuff got all effed up here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go, boss. Wait. Oh, I see what. Dude, why can't it just auto format for me? I'm using. I'm using it. See, no. See, this is not what I wanted. See, this isn't. I want one channel that can go out to many, many a channel. You know what I mean? I want one. Apparently, this like confuses go. This confuses go. Okay, I, I'm titled looking at this. Uh, minions. What are we making? We're doing a lot of things. There are, let's see, there are a channel of channels. That's a fan out pattern. There are many blogs on. So I did do a lot of fan. I did. I, I looked at like three or four blogs, and there, some of them are just straight up stupid wrong. Like fan out. That's why I mean a fan out uh, go laying a channel, right? Dude, like uh, this one. Just it's not. You're not even fanning out. Like you look at the example, look at this. It creates data one, it creates data two. It creates one generator, it creates two generators. These are two separate channels. You've made two separate channels and then you read one channel, you read two channels and you call it a wait. This, my friends, is not a fan out. This, my friends, is two things waiting on a wait group, okay? There's not even a fan out. What the hell am I looking at? Okay, hey, Rahul, I expect better. I want better, smoother, better. What the heck, Rahul? What the heck? Just got a shot uh, to test uh, for TB. My elbow feels like it needs a WD-40. Dang. That's just too very... Th dude, th this, is not, this is not a fan out. There's no fan out here. Okay? This is not... We're not fanning. Spawn X amount of go routines, functions that take in a fresh channel and listen to the main channel. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing here. So, that's, that's, so that was my general idea, which is that... Uh, uh, so, uh, let's see, if I look at my TCPC, that's what, that's what this thing effectively does, this, uh, TCP, uh, stream, which is, I guess, somewhat clever, it allows you to add listeners and remove listeners, and so if you look down here, I create a nice, uh, 
I create a nice little listen. This listen uh, goes in here, creates a new channel for me to be able to add to. Bada bing, bada boom, boom. So now I have this thing. So now anytime I want to be able to have any command I send to one, it should be able to send to all of them. But I had to use a lock. I didn't want to have to use a lock. And so that's the that's the hard part. Well, it's not. I, that's what I do. I that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm literally doing that, which is I'm doing a function that replicates it. But I have to have a lock. I was hoping not to have a lock. All right, here we go. Uh, task structure ID number of workers number of tasks tasks make channel dab, bam 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 wake group wake group all those sons of bitches uh, for go worker okay go worker all this stuff uh, chan task channel okay. Uh, where's worker? What does worker do? Worker takes an ID sync weight group and this one defer done task range task. Let's go. All right. So when you do this task ID this, see the problem is, is this doesn't go out like each one of these don't go out to all of the functions. Right. And that's what the problem they each don't go out. I can tell you I can tell right away. I can see it right away. I can feel it. I can feel it, knock to a dev. Thank you very much. I appreciate that one. And select striker. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Uh, let's see. Fetch A, fetch B, consume A, consume B. Okay, do let's see, hold on. I will look at this in a little I, I you know, we're gonna look at something else. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go with what I'm doing and I'm gonna come back, okay? At 12 p.m. Uh, the Lord's time, yeah. I'll come back to that because I already kind of got something that effectively does what I want it to do. So let's just test this son of a bitch. Like broadcast. I need broadcast. I made broadcast, I just don't want to have to make broadcast. Does that make sense? I don't want to make broadcast. Broadcast. I just want I wish there was just something that did broadcast. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you got a broadcast, you just get here's broadcast channel. Here's a channel that every single thing that's listening to it gets an event one at a time. You know what I mean? Anyways, okay, so let's go like this. Let's go uh funk. Okay, uh what is it? Uh test uh TCP server, and then we need a T for testing, you know what I mean? Oh, we need to go back to that previous song. Are you a Q engine? Your your mom's a Q engine. <laughs> oh, oh, suck on that one. All right, we got to go back to this song. This song is so good. This song is just so good. T, T K, thank you. I'm doing this song one more time. Brocast only for the homies. Let's go. Let's go. Brocast only for the homies, bro. All right, let's go like this. Funk create a TCP client. Uh, wrong one. That's Lua. That's Lua, bro. Let's do that. Okay, so what do we have here? We need to create a TCP client, which we're going to get to, but uh, let's go like this. Let's go like this. Porta. Let's go Porta. Porta. I guess we can go technically in 16. That seems a little bit nicer. You know what I'm talking about. And then go TCP. We got that module. Let's go. And we can, we don't have a TCP client, and I think that's fine. We don't need a TCP client here, but we need to go like this. TCP, new TCP server. We're going to do it on, uh, let's test on uh, 42069. Okay, if you don't like that, if you don't like it, if you don't like it, you can suck it. I'll provide you the evidence. Um, what's the problem here? Cannot convert untyped int consent. Why not? Why can't I do that? How do, how do I do this? How do I convert that? What is going on? What happened there? Am I having a stroke? Uh, port equals, uh, what is it? 420-69. Do I have to go like int 16? Is that how you force it? Like how the hell do I force this son of a bitch how do i force how do i how do i make a how do i make a short how do i make a short that's what i did i did that why can't you do that why can't you be oh my goodness I'm old. I'm old and I'm I'm hurting. Bro, I'm old and hurting. Bro, I'm old and hurting. Uh, let's see. Uh, server. There we go. Let's do that. I'm such a dummy. Dude, imagine being that stupid. Just for a second, imagine being that stupid. Okay. Um... Is that how you do that? Is it fatal F? What is it? What's the thing you do? Error? Oh, how do I say? Oh, it's T. All right, there we go. We got that one. So now all we have to do, Primogen, are you even a Go programmer? Do you even know how to compute? No, I don't, okay? All right, so now that we have this, we have this little server. It's a little TCP server. Come on. Let's see, is there a way, how, how do I start this thing? Uh, 
All right, what, what's the, I, do I just call listen with the listener? Yeah, that gets all done. So when I get this thing out, we're already listening. Okay, so when we get this thing out, we are listening. The server is up, the server is erect, the server is running, let's go. So now that I have that, I need to jump up here and we need to create a client. So how do I create a client? That's a great question. Let's uh, jump in here. How did I do this one? It's the listen, we don't wanna listen. Okay, defer close, you can defer close these nuts. Have you tried that? Have you tried that one? Have you tried it? Uh, how do you, uh, TCP client go lang, let's go. Oh damn, this is too good. This is, uh, I have to dial TCP with this adder. Do I really have to do that much stuff? Can, can a man just not, are you really gonna give that to me? Are you gonna give it to me like that? All right, okay, well, I guess I got it up here. Okay, we don't need that one. Server address, damn, son. Uh, 127.001, can I do that one? And then do a little, a little bit of a, uh, a D for the port. Yeah, give him the D, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, format, sprint F. Man, okay, I love that last song. Did you guys like that last song? Does that last song not just make you just just hot? Does that last song does not just make, if, if it doesn't make you hot and bothered, I think you don't have a soul. Good name. Uh, it's a some synth wave thing. We're done with the synth wave. It's over. We're done with it. It's over. You're a loser. All right, we're gonna do this one. O X uh, O S. Oh man, if we get this one, let's go like this. Uh, what should we return back? Uh, let's see. What is a connection? It, what, what what are you? You're TCP net con. Okay, dude. We're owning cons. People, we're owning the cons right now. We're owning the cons. How does that feel? How does it feel to own the cons? All right, return, con, all right. Oh wow, actual go, yeah, what are you scripting? I am scripting an entire thing. Right now we are testing TCP server, okay? I gotta make sure that I can do all of the stuff and then we're gonna do an actual effing integration test, okay? That means we're gonna launch a Go server, we're gonna launch NeoVim and it is gonna go and it's gonna do an entire like testing where it launches up and we're gonna like talk to each other for a second. And if it does all the things that I want it to do, it's then gonna close down. Okay, actual go, actually go is enough to make anybody cool. Thank you. Uh, client, er, uh, you know what I mean? Because we're, we're gonna, uh, dude, we're making this. I hope you know that we're doing this like the old fashioned way. Okay, are you ready to do this the old fashioned way? The old fashioned way is making good ass code. Okay, and we're gonna test it. We're gonna test it, unfortunately. Okay, hold on. What am I doing wrong here? Uh, what am I doing wrong here? What's the, what's the problem? Cannot use what? Cannot use that? You know why? You know why? Because I'm dumb, okay? There you go. Your type. I know, dude. All right, so now that we got the client, now that we got the client, you can't use UN16. You can UN16 these nuts. Ah, shut up! All right, uh, command equals TCP command, and let's go like this. Uh, uh, what is it? Command, not an E. That That's an error. That's an error. It's a C. Oh, my goodness. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me, Copilot? Why you got to be like this? What's the other thing? Data, hello world. Ooh, I do like that. What is data supposed to be? It's supposed to be strings. Uh, there we go. And there we go. All right. So that does look good. So now we got the client. We got the server. We got this. So now let's do all the things we got to do. Are you ready for this one? So we have this. We have this. Uh, we have the we have the listener. And this will equal uh, server dot um, listen. Right? Is it listen? Is this the one I'm thinking of? Yeah. So this will give me back a listener. So I can now, wait, is this one? This is not the one. Why am I exporting this? Why am I exporting this? I should, I should not be exporting this. This is, that, 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 that is foul. That is foul for me to do. Okay. Uh, uh, FR that, uh, all right, there we go. That's only internal. That's only internal. Listen to me. Listen to me. You are 12. 12 what? 12 what? You see what I did there? Server dot, um, all right, so I'm going to send via the client. Let's go like this. Client dot write command bytes, bam, 
And then I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go server dot from sockets, right? From sockets is literally that. And go uh, command. Oh, my goodness. I can write. I can write. I can feel it. I can feel it. There we go. We got it. Uh, what is this? Wait, is this not a channel? I thought this was a channel. What is this thing? Is this not a channel? Is this not a channel? From sockets is a channel, right? So how is this not a channel? Why is this not a channel? Can I not? Can I not read from it? Oh yeah, there we go. What are we doing? We're building stuff. We're building stuff. Clown listen. I'm currently using my own clown listen. Okay, athletic programming. Does that mean you'll do push-ups for every typo you make? No. No. All right. So we got pretty much everything we want here. Can we agree to that? Don't I need to wrap it? Or do I just, do I not wrap it? Do I do a V? Do I do an S? Like, what's the thing I do here? Oh, yeah, I guess it, there is like an N, huh? We don't care about that. Do we always do that? All right, so let's see what we got here. Are you guys ready for this? And can I just do a little loop here? Let's find out if I can do a little loop, okay? Let's go like this. X, uh, is there like a better assert library? Is there like a good assert library? Aren't you creating a client in the same port as the server? Or am I reading it wrong? That's how, that's how servers work, bro. The server opens up the port. The client connects to the port. If they're not on the same port, where's my client going to? Testify. Um, all right, uh, testify, go lang. Let's, I guess I have already looked at this once before. Once in the blue moon. Hell yes. Hell yes. Yes. You come in, in, into me right now. Right now. Uh, uh, go mod tidy. Yes. Go mod tidy. Go. Yes, give it to me. Uh, LSP restart. All right, that was really good. I feel like I really liked this playlist, but I can't remember. Wait, hold on. Which one is this song? I don't like this. I don't like what I'm listening to. Oh, I like that. All right, let's do that. Go has significant white space. Uh, and wait, who what? Go has both significant white space and you into, and I don't know about significant white space. This is the least athletic programming I've ever seen. Okay, we, really, you're the least athletic programming. Have you have you seen you? Okay, I'm 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 convinced you literally you you couldn't even do a singular like not even one. I don't even think you could do a singular push up. Uh, assert. Uh, what is it? Assert. T command equals this. Let's go. Is that it? How does this thing work? We're going to go like this. Uh, not equal assert equal 123. Okay, so I go like this. Equal uh, command C. All right, I expect that. And then we should expect uh, data to equal hello world. If I've done everything correct, this should all be true, right? So let's, let's go out here. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Go, test, make it happen. What do we get out of here? Because I'm curious about this. Okay, so we had ourselves a problem. We got ourselves an E and not a C, so that's a, that's a problem. We got a malformed TCP command. Okay, so this is good. This is good. This is good. Now, I'd like to be able to do this without having to open up all the server, all, all the crap. I wonder if there's a way I could separate out the, the code such that I don't have to test the TCP along with everything. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah? Imagine writing tests. I know. Because I'm not really a, a big fan of having like this all mixed together, right? Like, uh, you know, like this, this is kind of nice. I mean, I guess I could really use that thing. But like right here, I have this whole like accept going on. And then I create the two listeners. And then I create the whole go funk myself. Like, I don't know about this thing. You know, I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about that. You know what I mean? I don't know how I feel about that. You know what I mean? And then that thing just reads from the parsers. Um, separate and uh, separate and use a make file. Okay, so you 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 are doing what I I, I say is uh, d dumb. 
Not not that make fouls dumb. I think make fouls great. Driving loop is driving you crazy. I don't get the choice on that. That's how Go does things. Okay. I would put it right here minimally. Go says no. We put it right there. This is where we want it. This is this is where we want it. All right. So this is all good. We are using standard lib TCP dog. All right. So this is looking good. If net is if net is is the standard lib, I assume net is part of the standard. I don't know. I technically don't know. All right. So this is good. So how do we want to pull this out? Uh, man's trying to learn Go, but it's too messy, and I find it difficult to write. Skill issues potentially. Sounds a little skill issuey, honestly, to tell you the truth. All right. So I guess what I could do. I could go like this. How do we want to do this? Because I think most of this, okay, so I, the, the problem is coming from right here. I think the problem is literally coming from command parser, which is a little bit funny that I'm exporting it. I don't think I should export this. Like really, I should I should have that, right? Like that's what I should have. But then that means I can't test it, right? Because I can't go tcp dot command right. You can't do command parser. You know what I mean? So that's like a problem. I can't test it. Hey, thank you, Clout Goblin. These. Um, yes. The reason is that I don't want to use UDP. Like you know, you you, you got to understand that you're building reliability, right? You do know that, right? You know what I mean? You do know that, right? Twenty oh four. 204, you're, you're, you, you make reliability. Uh, I don't want to make reliability. All right, let's go like this. Uh, for now, I'm just going to go like this. Format dot, we, we, could, we could make this better. We could make this better, but I'm not going to make this thing better. Okay. Like, yo, dog, I don't want to have to make reliability. Why, why, do you got, why do you want? Hey, thank you very much, Random. I feel like there was another sub that I didn't say thank you to. Clout Goblin, these nuts. Thank you, Kovik. That's who I didn't. Hey, thank you. Time's flying. It is flying. Thank you for the eight months. And REIT Q, Real Estate Investment Trust. Real Estate Equity Investment Trust. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Tukanji, appreciate that. Twitch Prime, let's go, baby. And Cosmic Boots, let's go. And Tilo Cat, I don't know if I said thank you, but thank you. And Mr. Singh of, is vibing. We're vibing. In my last day of boot camp, I'm really glad I found your content while going through it. Nice, 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 All right, so I'm going to just put a little, uh, little printf in here. Let's just see what we're parsing. You know what I mean? Let's just see what we're parsing. All right, so current equals this. Okay, so that is okay. Okay, yeah, that is malformed. Por qué María? Por qué? And of course, María. You know what I mean? The, 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 there's like a por qué and a María. Ooh. Ooh. I see where we went wrong, people. I see where we went wrong. Okay, so TCP command. See this right here? Bytes. Wait, what? See this right here? This needs to have another one like this, and it needs to be the length of these two. Okay. So I must be doing that somewhere else. Where am I doing that? So see, where am I doing this? Where am I doing? Am I really not doing this anywhere else? Okay, so there I f I f this one up. I thought I was doing it when I did bytes. So there's my problem. I didn't do a proper. I didn't do it properly, right? So there's my string. So now string needs to now equal format this right here. That's our TCP packet. Does that make sense? We do the length of our string colon the rest of our string technically i wouldn't i mean it just makes it really easy to have this because technically i could i could just read until the first non whatever remember we're, we also have to use strings for our protocol because we're using lua all right so we're using lua and i don't know how to do like a byte array in lua i don't even know if it's possible to do it in in it i don't know we can make it later zoran sui let's go thank you and so now what i really want to do is actually add one more item which is version so we're going to do version here soon Length of bytes in uh, length of string in bytes. That's pretty much what it is. There's okay. So there we go. So that made sense. See, 13C. We were able to parse out that packet. Everything's looking good. So we do have a packet parser. Let's go, people. Let's f and go. Let's go. Let's go. Print f and let's do that. Oh yeah, we did that. There we go. So look at that. We got ourselves passing, which I'm actually pretty happy about because that's pretty sweet that we just. That's a shocking amount of code that I didn't test until right now. Okay, so let's create another test. What's another test we can create here? Um, 
Let's make sure that I, I, I can actually uh, parse out a bunch of stuff, right? Funk, uh, test, uh, command, parser, right? Because I want to be able to make sure I can do... Oh. Well, hello. Well, hello. Wow, look at this. It re Look at this. I'm really getting, um, getting a lot of stuff there. All right, so I'm going to go back here, and we're going to make this thing public. For now, is there a way to test this? Is there a way to test this without making it a public interface? How, how 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 does one do that? Is that a thing? You can test private functions. Test private functions going. How do, how do I do that? Is this is this what we do? I post a Stack Overflow link showing it. Oh, okay, you did. Oh, so we just we simply don't make it. Okay, okay. So so that means. So that means when I do this thing, I don't make it underscore test? Is that what you're saying? I just simply don't make it underscore test? So it's the same package, and it will be able to tell. And simply because I start every function with capital T test and export it, and the only argument is this testing T, then that will allow me to do it. Yeah, that does look like it is allowing me to do it. Okay, okay, hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother, brother, hell yeah, brother, hell yeah. All right, so we're going to do that one, and we're going to take this thing, and we're going to go down here, and we're going to give it a T, and we're going to go uh, uh, goodbye world. Uh, ooh, I like that. Oh, man, Copilot's getting, Copilot's getting dark. All right, so there we go. I like this. So I can do bytes, uh, bytes two equals command this one. And then I need a, what is it? It's a, it's like a IO uh, buffered, let's see, bytes buffer, right? It's like a bytes reader, right? And that thing takes, isn't there a way to create, create, um, create reader from bytes? Where is your bro pilot? I swear there's a way to do this. New reader. Oh, it's bytes.new reader. Hell yeah. So I go bytes.new. Wait, what? Oh, I, I already called it bytes. Damn. 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 Calling a package name like that. Getting in trouble. The module. Uh, and then I should go like this. New, new reader, right? And can I hand it multiple because that would be nice can i hand it multiple damn it no i can't so i have to like combine these two is there a, is there a concat concat to byte arrays golang is that a thing can we do that oh we slice and add Okay, slice, slice, slice and splat, slice and splat, slice and splat. Is that what we're doing? All right, so then let's go like this. We can just go uh, append uh, BB2, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Command parser takes in a reader, so we can go like this, and we can go reader equals that. People are like, don't do it. It's it's not performant. Well, guess what? It's a test. You can just, who really cares? You know what I mean? Like, really, who cares? Okay, who really cares? Okay, we're going to parse that one. We're going like this. Uh, assert dot equal C command. Who really cares? You know what I mean? Can I do can I do complex objects like that? Can I do complex objects like that? Uh, my test must be performant to save on money on my CI/CD pipeline. Okay, so we got to fail. Uh, IO import is not... Uh, uh, we didn't use it. I import. Well, first try. Nobody will run them trademark. This is true, but my tests don't happen to be that way. Okay, so that's like the beautiful part. Um, let's just make sure. I just want to see if this is real. Wait, what happened here? Uh, uh. Uh, uh, I can't type. All right, what do we got here? We got hello world and goodbye world. Yeah, okay, so I did get the right thing. So it, it does appear that this all... I just wanted to make sure I understand how this is working. We're not getting some, like, crazy... 
we're not getting some sort of crazy uh right okay cool I'm happy about that. Happy about that. Prime, I don't use Stack Overflow. Also, Prime goes into Stack Overflow thrice within two minutes. Yeah, I'm in the middle of learning a new. I'm in the, I'm in the middle of learning a new language, so I have to, like, ask things. You know what I mean? I have to, like, ask dumb questions that I normally wouldn't ask. Because, like, you know, when you don't know how to, like, uh, concat two arrays in, in the way the language wants you to concat two arrays, you just got to go ask, and that's when it's time. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You just this is normal. This is this is normal. Yeah, I felt bad doing the same. Well, no, you should feel bad if you're if you're using a language you always use. Like if you've been programming Go for for three years and you don't know how to concat two arrays, you're a dummy. Okay. Does that make sense? He is slightly autistic. Must be good. Yeah, exactly. But if you know. That's the thing. Never feel bad for being dumb. You should. Actually, no, you should feel bad for being dumb. Okay? Because you should try to learn something. Okay? You should try to learn. Like, that's a good use of being to learning. Okay? Never feel bad for trying. That, on the other hand, I'm, I'm all in for. Uh, what have you code so far for the game? A lot. Uh, quite a bit. I, I, I'm taking a step back and building like the world now. And so at this point, I'm building this this little library called Vim with me. And so what I want to be able to do is that way I can have all of the reason why I want to do Vim with me is that I want to be able to have this entire platform built. So when I do Vim Tower Defense, I literally include Go. I I I, I Maybe I'll use a submodule. I don't know. Probably a sub. Honestly, a submodule might be the best use for this. This actually might be a great use case for a submodule. Is I use the submodule to develop the game. Does that make sense? What is a submodule? A submodule. How would I want to do this? I guess that's a great question, people. How would I want to do this? Right. Because for Go, it's obvious. For Vim, I don't understand. How would I want to do? How would I want to do it for Vim? You know what I mean? Because Vim, you have the whole Lua module thing, and that's a much that's much harder. Well, the problem with plugins is that I guess I'll have to use tags. You'll have to use tags, right? I heard you like modules. I think that's probably the only way. Why is there code? Just give me, dude. I thought I was really proud of this tweet. Right here, okay. I thought I was I was pretty I was pretty proud of that, okay. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Right now we're just making we're, guys 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 we're making the good stuff we're making the TCP uh, whooshed people dude I whooshed hard. Um, uh, edit uh, com today we are creating the TCP platform for Vim with uh, for Vim uh, Vim APM. And Vim Tower uh, Defense because they're the, they're the same thing, right? This means I am creating all the packet sharing slash parsing required. There you go. Yo, Vim sucks. Y you know what also sucks? Watching you use the mouse and slowly navigating your code. Okay, it's pathetic watching it. Honestly, my, my, my toddler can use a Strider bike better than you can use your editor. It's pathetic. It's pathetic and weak. Imagine being less physically able than a two-year-old. You suck. Nice job, Fright Night Dan. Trance. Nice drive. Ableist. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. So we got we got all the TCPZ parts, which is good. We got all the TCPZ parts. Do I got the send? I guess I haven't tested the send yet. So let's go over here and let's jump into here. And we have this thing. And we don't need to do this. I guess what I could do is um, do I? Okay, so I already have command right there. Let's call this thing uh, C2. And then I can just go like this. I can go C2 uh, command, right? I don't need to do all that other shit that I was doing over here, right? 
¿Por qué, María? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué, María? Right? Okay, so now that we have that, let's try throwing commands back through the other direction. How the heck are JS devs taking shots at languages like Java and C Sharp when they themselves do abominations like this? All right, first time chatter. Please don't be a dick pic. Please don't be a dick pic. Oh, yeah, I already dunked on this one. I already went all, I already went deep. I went deep on this one, okay? This is like, this is like not a way to sell anything, okay? Hey, bro, this is how you use AI. You're like, that's how you use AI? I don't want you on my team, okay? Real talk, I don't want you over here. I don't want you near me. I don't want you in my code base. I don't want any of it, okay? Because when you inevitably quit within six months and you leave me with this horrific shambles, so effing bad. Dude, I don't want to, I don't want your crap. All right, TCP command. Let's do a command as a T. Let's place a tower, huh? Let's place a tower. Let's have this. Your command will be, uh, how about uh, 69 by 420, right? That's where we'd want to place a tower at, right? Oh, yeah. Delete and try again. <laughs> you should delete and try again. All right, so now we're going to take our server, and I want to send it out, right? A send to sockets. Uh, that's, like, not even a thing, dog. All right, so there we go. Wait, what's not enough commands? Oh, well, look at, well, look at that. I guess I, I mean, do, the real question is, do I want to do something like this that actually has the command, right? Uh, TCP command. Like, is that what I, is that what I want? Uh, command. Ooh, ooh, I use windows. It's, it's, it's reminding me to do my workout. Should we do a quick workout? How many, how many pushups do you think I could do? One shot right now. One shot, one one go, one one attempt. No breaks. Dicks out. What do you guys think? All right, let's. Hey, put your points where your money's at. Let's do this. Manage pull. F you. Manage prediction. Hell yeah. Start prediction. I'm gonna do this one, but instead of a neo van, we're gonna go like this. Push ups. Do you think I can do less than ten? No stop. Chest on floor. No bounce. Less than 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 45, 45 to 60, 60 plus. What do you think? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What do you think I can do here? Now, obviously, the hard part is getting a camera angle because we can't use my, my other scene because it's not even set up. I don't even have a camera over there anymore. What if you do exactly 30? Then that means it's 30 to 45. What are you, not a programmer? These are exclusive. This is inclusive, exclusive ranges. How do you vote? Uh, you're too negative to vote. I think I have you banned from voting. Uh, Got to use OnlyFans. Dude, I don't have that. You seem like a, pu a 50 push-up Andy. Thank you. <laughs> That's pretty good right there. Look at those push-ups. All right. All right, so let's like this. I don't really want to adjust the camera. Let's see. I'll, I'll, I don't even think you can see the floor, right? You can't even see me at all. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you can kind of see me. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you know, I, I know, I know you can do that. I have a chair right now, okay? F you guys. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see what I got here. What do we got here? How much, how much, okay, so I, I do got a little bit of room. I do got a little bit of room. Oh, shit. I have it in such good spot, I can't even get it to move. Damn, I've done a good job with my camera setup. All right, I don't really want to uh, bother with trying to get everything set up, so you're just going to have to trust me. You're going to have to trust me or, or fuck off, whatever one you want to do. All right, I'm going to do it right here. And this is going to hurt. Let's go. And one, two, three.
Dang it! Oh, that sucked. Oh, I'm out of shape. I'm at 53. I'm out of shape. Whew. I haven't been doing push-ups lately. Whew. When you're not doing push-ups, it really kind of, you know, weighs against you. 53, way out of shape for push-ups. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Is that your mating call? Bro, Lizzie, but how many push-ups can you do with lithium on your back to hold you tight? Oh, probably a good amount. Just enough. Oh, wow. Well, most people thought I was going to be there, too. Hold on. All right, there we go. All right, anyways, back to it. Hey, thank you very much for the subs. What is this thing? Twitch backpack was in the screen. Silly little backpack. Silly, silly little backpack. I was trying to figure out what it was because I saw it. I was like, what the hell is this thing? Where, where is it coming from? <sighs> All right, anyways, thank you, Shamples. Thank you, Solomon. Thank you, Jay Hanaz of Brazil. Brazil mentioned. Uh, Moon Candle, thank you. Uh, what are you doing right down there? <sighs> Push-ups. The Illuminous and Azure by, uh, Azure by. Appreciate that. Zora and Sweet, thank you. Whew. Steamy Robot Love. Let's do it. Wow. All right, I don't really like the fact that I have two of these. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna get rid of that one for now. You know what I mean? Let's just, let's just uh, actually, uh, let's just adapt uh, that, honestly. Let's keep it like that. You know, that just feels better. All right, so if this is correct, I'm gonna have a client too. And let's create one more client. Let's do that one. Oh, slow down. That's a re-reminder to make sure I do working out. Hey, thank you, Lazy Coder. I appreciate that. Waiting for you in Brazil. Dude, Br Brazil's happening. I hope you know that, right? You guys do know that. So much Brazil's going to happen. I uh, just finished a school assignment about distant vector routing versus link state routing algorithms. I don't, I don't know those routing algorithms at all, honestly. They sound like some sort of variation on... My assumption is this is networking, and this is going to be some variation on Dijkstra's. All right. All right, so we got server 2, some sort of breadth-first search. Just networking, routing stuff. Yeah, I assume it's something. All right, so let's see. We got our server. We're going to send this. And then I should be able to go like this. I guess I have to read, huh? I never even thought about this, but I'm going to have to read. I'm going to have to read, huh? Right? Huh. Costco, I love you. Hey, I love you. Okay? I, I love you, buff. I don't actually love you. I don't know you. Cosmo Navy, thank you. How's your day been? Very good. Thunder Jr., thank you for the tier one. You little... You son of a bitch. I appreciate that. Hey, by the way, this Monday, this Monday from 10 a.m. to like 1 p.m. or longer, or longer, depending on how, how, how it's going, I will be playing for the first time Helldiver, and my wife will join me. Helldivers 2, technically, too. And so my wife, wife will shoot. I will aim. We will play tandem together the exact same time jordan as a team a beautiful team a team married in love and matrimony with pirate software he's probably so far advanced with it i what i'm going to do is i'm going to play and then if we start really liking it uh then you guys can bother him then you get oh should i do uh, should i do a quick blindfolded speed run uh, yo this is how i normally play just like this you got you guys don't play like that? What do you, what do you mean I don't play with that? My name's King King Pounds a lot. I feel bad, dude. That situation is so good, by the way. 
Okay, so, so by the way, for those that don't know, my guilty, my guilty, my guilty pleasure is listening to Asmund Gold. Okay, I listen to a lot, a lot of Asmund Gold. Uh, let's go like this: client, uh, client command equals uh, what's it? What's it called? It's called um, is it command parser? Yeah, and then uh, two. Dude, uh, let's see, as another, you know your wife can just play with you as another hell diver. That's literally not the, that's like the opposite point. Uh, Hugh said as been gold, but I heard Ar Amarin Amar Amorinth. Um, no, it's called he aims, she shoots. Like, I understand I have a lot. Is it, wait, is it athletic programming because you are typing so fast as possible? Uh, it's that, and I'm, 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 I'm athletics. Wait, wait, as been gold follows you on X? Damn! I don't know what you did, Massey, but give me that Twitch Prime in celebration. Okay? You give me that Twitch Prime celebrating the fact that I'm not followed by anyone famous. I'm followed by one Twitch famous person, and that's it. And that's it. That's all I got. Uh, let's go like this one. Uh, out and out too. All right, there we go. And then we should go like this, assert equals command to, right? And oh, let's see, hold on. Yeah, it should be this one, right? Like, if I've done this correctly, that should be true. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe. I can't believe I, like, I wrote all this code without testing it in a giant ejaculation of code. We literally wrote this entire file first try. For anyone that says Go is not an easy language, they are just such bullshit. I am the worst gopher, okay? I'm, like, not even good at Go. I'm, like, not even good at Go. What the hell is this all about? I say, hey, thank you for that Twitch Prime, baby. Y y sorry for bullying you into it. You didn't have to do that, baby. Push to prod. Would someone watch someone talk about programming? Would Why would... <laughs> I do love the fact that you're doing it. You are watching someone talk about programming while asking why someone would do that. I'm going to mute that. Uh, yeah, you guys can... I, I, will, I will see if Pirate Software wants to play with me uh, after, I, uh, after I get done to it. After I get done with it. And I also have an extremely spicy article. I, I, I could foresee an article. I have an article that's pretty... Um, that's pretty spicy. I could read as well. Look at this. Cloud three just destroyed GPT four and Gemini AGI. Yeah, I heard about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw this. I, I saw. I, I looked. I, I, we're gonna look at the tweets tomorrow. When is course coming to boot.dev? I, I I hand them off my rough draft tomorrow. Does that make sense? So tomorrow, it comes out tomorrow. Like, or I hand in my rough draft either tomorrow or Monday. Wait for a course? Yeah, I'm doing a course on just like everything I'm about Git. How to use Git effectively. Did I miss any articles? No, we're not doing articles right now. All right, so this is awesome, by the way. I can't believe this just worked. I, we, I mean, this just effing worked, people. This, this like worked. Have you seen Linus Tech Tips review of the Kinesis 360? I also want to watch that tomorrow. As, as a connoisseur of the 360, my favorite keyboard of all time. In fact, I am their first paid sponsor of all time. Okay? They pay me to use it. I bought several of these keyboards before they paid me to use it. Man, I love, I love the Kinesis. So I, I want to watch that tomorrow. That will be, we will be watching that one tomorrow. They totally shat on it. That's fine. They can totally shit on it, but they're totally wrong. Like that's the nice part is I can also tell them that I can also say that they're they're genuinely wrong. And last time I checked, Linus Tech Tips fiddles around with making computers. I haven't seen him do a lot of programming. Okay, I'd like to see this little this little guy go on there and type like a monkey, telling me about how the Kinesis is so bad. Oh, it's so bad because you know I couldn't really get used to it after using it for a little bit. I just was really upset about it. Just really didn't. It just it just made me so upset. They better have some good points. I'm going to come in there pretty hot. I want you to know that now. Kinesis, uh, though, yeah, I'm, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'll come in, I'm going to come in probably a little hot. I'll calm it down. All right, so there is one other thing. Hey, by the way, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Flander. Appreciate that. All right, so let's go in here. There's one other thing I do need to test. I do need to close down a connection. I don't actually know how to close a connection. 
How do you close a connection? Is it? The, can I just call close? Like, can I just call close? That's on a channel. <laughs> That's a channel. That's a channel. That's a channel. And I can just call close. Okay. So if I close the client, theoretically, and then I can also uh, close the uh, what's it called? Uh, client uh, command. I should technically be able to resend one more time, and I should only get out of here. Right. This should just work. Right. I should be able to just do this and then re retest this thing, right? I should just be able to do that. See, that was my worry is that it's not it's not doing it. Something broke. Okay, good. We did find a spot where if a connection gets closed, I didn't program it correctly. If a connection gets closed, I should I mean, I really should be removing it, but I don't think I do remove it. I don't know how I tell it to stop. Okay, I got to go P. And then we're gonna figure that out. Uh, put them both in a defer block. You can defer these. These what? Hey, I know, this is, dude, I, dude, I hate this chair. Okay. Um, hey, quick question. Uh, Tej, uh, Prime and Tej, same time? It's like they're in sync, what is this? Okay, so Q, 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 people. Um, by the way, I wanna, I, I wanna, I, I have a question. How do people, how do people create like, how would I version this API? If you're tempted to get a split keyboard, again, one, again, I'm just saying, these things, 60-day money-back guarantee. Okay, I know the Kinesis fellas. They're very, very kind. You get 15% off with my name, and then I get 30 bucks. It's sweet, but I've been using them forever, so I love it. So even if I didn't get paid, I still got a keyboard, and I absolutely love the keyboard. I don't care. If you, well, I know that. Version for the package? Yeah, version for the, pre well, the protocol will be matching the package version, right? So version one will be that. But like, can I do a, can I do a git tag? Can I do a git tag and have it run off a git tag? I don't know how, I don't know how fetching of, I don't know how gits package management works. Can I do git tags? And it works off of tags? Just add a tag and push it? Okay. Long as it works with uh, git packages, then I, I'm fine with that. Uh, because what I for go yeah for go so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to effectively keep overwriting the same tag so v1 will just like version one will just be its own tag there will be no API change in version one I just have to maintain whatever this is and then when I change it this will just be like slight fixes to this thing and that's it will you deprecate the whole API every time no I because it'll only be changes to the actual bind or the only the TCP protocol if I have to make any sort of changes. How are the thumb buttons? I love the thumb buttons are so good. What are the benefits of Dvorak versus QWERTY? Uh, I prefer QWERTY if I could go back. That's what I'd want to do. Yeah, what, so what's the, what's the way people want to do modules? That's my question. Is how do, uh, we can get to it. Uh, way not go back. If you use Dvorak when you don't want to be productive, I use Dvorak. Okay, JK. See, JK is right here. That doesn't make any sense. Then HL. HL is right here. I did DL. HL, 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 HL. The cheese. Let's go. Uh, thank you for your energy you bring to the audience of programming. I've been programming as a hobby without a group of peers for 15 years. I started to feel stale until I found you. Now I am finally pursuing embedded development with C after years of web dev hell and using NeoVim with no plugins. For now, yes, I'm managing buffers. Let's go. PSL eventually attempt rust on metal. And I'm saving up for that badass keyboard. Well, let's go. That's kind of that's that's awesome that you're a little hobbyist programmer. Keep keep loving the op uh, the uh, the goodness. You know what I mean? Keep doing it. Keep doing it, man. Hey, thank you. See the cheese. Appreciate that. Being a hobbyist programmer, a programmer is fantastic because you're building the things you want. You're not, you know, it's not a jobs can sometimes be a huge, huge drain on people. You know what I mean? Except for you just don't get paid as well. But if you ever, you know, I'm sure with 15, you'll do great. Uh, hey, thank you. Uh, strike. Let's go. Chasing, the, chasing that dopamine. Just having fun. All right. So why did this do that? So let's jump in here and outer loop to TCP. We just write the bytes or we do commands. I guess what I need to do is how do I know that a connection has been closed? Is there some sort of, is there some sort of like a uh, case, uh, TCP connection close uh, channel, right? Well, how do I, how do I say that thing? Uh, Golang, right? Uh, Golang. How do I know when a How do I know, like, how, how do I listen for the connection being closed? Is there, is there a way to do this? Right? 
Uh, just check whether it's closed. Is that a, like a thing? I don't want to like I don't want to do like a timer or anything. It, it returns an error when reading and oh, really oh oh this thing returns an error right here. So when I'm reading, when it reads the buffer, it returns an empty. How about this one? Okay. Well, I'm going to go like this. Okay, okay. So I, I, I... What do we want to do? We have a malformed packet. Let's have a uh, TCP closed packet. And I'll just use C from here on out. We'll have to change that. Connection closed. I guess I could... I mean, who cares? It doesn't really matter if that... It, does, it doesn't really matter from for me. All right, so that means when I'm reading, I should actually be able to go like this. Out... Uh, TCP closed, right? And then do that. Return, I'm done reading. That means if I get hit with this thing, if I get hit with a TCP closed, if command, here, I'll go like this. Ah, oh, crap. See, there's this whole thing. Because I don't want to like, I don't want to send that down to the client, right? That doesn't make any sense. So I'd have to do like this whole thing, right? Then I'd have to break the outer loop. Dang it. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. <sighs> I hate that. I hate. I hate what I've written. I've hate. I, I dislike it. I many dislikes here. Um. Whatever. I guess this is the life I'm gonna live. I'm. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. Uh. I am sure there is a better way to do this. Right. Right. Uh, right. Figure it out. Just figure it out. I'll figure it out at some point. We'll break the outer. There we go. Let's go to do make it uh, make it better. Classic. Yeah. It's a, it's a classic. All right, so now that we have that, I should be able to get hit with this thing, which is fantastic. I'll get hit with this read. It'll close the command. Anytime I get an error, I'm just going to say, hey, thing's closed. Get the hell done. We're done with it. Forget about it. Um, go here. We'll do that. If we get a C, it's broken. It's a closed command. E for errors. And then the rest we can use fantastically, which means I need to go in here and go command uh, C, right? Uh, which we probably need to change, right? Uh, what is it? Percent S, Command C, and go Command. Uh, I'll call. It, I guess T for now. Let's call it G. Why not? There we go. That way I don't accidentally close myself. You know what I mean? Because if I send a Command C, the thing will. I'll, I'll, I'll close that port. Right? Does that, does that make sense? Don't forget to add a counter that you increment every time, so you can prove it and break something. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. You still using I3? I'm still using I3. Hell yeah. All right, let's see if that just does it. Okay, so we got ourselves a bit of a problem, so this is good. Uh, let's see. TCP 120, go routine 6. Okay, hold on. TCP 122. Oh, what what happened here? Why is that? Oh, wait, what? Wait, why is that a problem? Print, uh, let's go like this. Format, print LM, got to, here, let's, what's the error? End of file. Okay, so we got an e we got an EOF. So we got an EOF. So fantastic. Panic send on closed channel. Oh, did I close the channel already? Oh, I did. I probably closed the channel already, huh? Damn, already closed the channel, huh? Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do in my test? We don't close the channel, right? We're gonna let we're gonna let this channel we get closed. The clo the channel right here. We're gonna close we're gonna close out from right here, right? That makes more sense. I should control that. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Now, now we can do this, which means that this right here, I just got done sending a command, and so I should be... Com there we go. Fantastic. That makes sense. Happy about that. Let's go. Okay, cool. Can you show us how Go coroutines differ are better than Rust, please? Uh, yeah, uh, you can program a lot l more with a lot less. Defer? We can defer. Yeah, I gotta remember to defer. I don't quite often defer, which is probably the probably the better way to do that, right? I'd have to defer, uh, close out. There we go. You're probably right. That's probably the way to do this, because then it does it does definitely do all the right stuff. All right, fantastic. Look at that. 
the first, I know I see the problem is, is I'm still not I'm still not like there yet. You know what I mean? Still not there yet with the go. We're getting there with the go. Okay, cool. So I have everything that I wanted to do. Yeah, the first survives any panic. Okay, good. That's good to know. Async, bad for the brain, good for threads. All right, so this is this is cool though. Look at that nice TCP server. I mean, this is this is a nice amount of tests, I'd say. This is a nice amount of tests. I'm going to take all of this and let's just uh, well, we can get rid of that thing. I'm going to go like this. I, we don't need that guy. We're going to CC feature um, uh, TCP uh, refactor and tests. Let's go. It's more than just a refactor, you know what I mean? Get push origin. Uh, did you see that nice force? Did you see that force? I'm going to probably make Vim with me. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I'm going to make this like the main one. All right, so we got the TCP side of things. I need to add versioning now. All right, if we're going to do this, we need versioning. Can we all agree? Versioning is kind of needed, right? Uh, var version equals uh, one. Yeah. 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 You, you say yes. Say yes. Say yes. There we go. That means when I parse. Okay. Hey, thank you. Ben codes all for the tier two three months in advance. Thank you. Yes, and yes, and I'm going to go with three. And so if we don't get three spots, then we're going to need to do this. Okay. And so I want to do uh, this is going to be called a uh, version, and this is going to be called a length. And so I'm going to need to move that down. Malformed packet. Uh, if uh, version does not equal version, then we're going to want to jump up here, go here. We're going to yeah, we're going to wrap that and go a uh, uh, version a mismatch. Right. Can I do something like that? No, you, I think you can't. Can you do that with print with printf? Can you just pass in a string with percent signs, or does it have to be defined in the moment? Hey, thank you, Jan. Appreciate that. Nah, you can. See, I don't know. You guys aren't really. Uh, you guys aren't really giving me confidence here. Uh, return b dot. Um, let's go like this. Um, do I want to copy? Let's go like this, actually. Let's go like this. Funk uh, version mismatch. And then go uh, v1, v2. There you go. That seems nicer. Don't you agree? Yeah. Don't you agree? That seems nicer. I think that seems nicer. Version mismatch. Blah, 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 blah. Awesome. Jump in here and go a version mismatch. Version, version. This thing returns a command. And I'm supposed to return out a that. Why are you a problem? Wait, what? Wait, can I not just do something like this? Wait, why can't it do that? I don't need to do a semicolon. Hold on. That should be a TCP command, right? Yeah, that's a TCP. So why can't I just do that? That's annoying. That's super annoying. Uh, that's super annoying. You're creating a value with a function call. Can't immediately make it into a pointer. Oh, really? You could just return a pointer. Aiden, you're probably right. That's bothersome that you can't do that. Aiden, I do have a question for you, but we haven't got there quite yet. There we go. Version mismatch, we do that one. Doesn't work out, no good. Get the hell out of there. If we do length and length doesn't work out, we do that. Uh, we gotta do this, right? There's length, okay. Ineffectual assignment. Why is it an ineffectual assignment? What do you do, what do you mean, ineffectual assignment? There we go. I like it. Not used. Error is ineffectual. I see. Not used. Man, they got all them smart words coming at my face. Sam, thank you very much. Panther, let's go for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. Uh, you can't. You don't use her. I know I didn't use her. I'm a, I'm a loser. Version. We got some versions. There we go. Let me just make sure this is all correct. I think this is all correct. Uh, so that means if I've done everything correctly, see, look at that. Do you see that? Look at that. We goofed up. We goofed up, people. 
People, we goofed up. We thought we got something. We didn't get something. How dare you not handle air? I am handling air, okay, right now. Look at that. All right, fantastic. Oh, yeah, duh. All right, hold on. I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. I am going to go like this. Length string, let's see, hold on. Uh, version string equals parts zero. Uh, this equals part. I'm gonna I'm gonna screw it up too much, so I just gotta go like this, and then I'm gonna go data string equals parts uh, two, right? That way I just can't screw this up. You know what I mean? Because I feel like it's just too easy to have this crap around here. Because that's what's getting me right now is I'm just I'm I'm being stupid, right? too easy to goof that up it's just it's simply too easy it's too easy it's too easy the adderallogen i don't do adderall you guys should know this by now you know this you know this today we are building we are creating the tcp platform for vim apm and vim tower defense this means i can create all the ta packets and sharing and parsing required actually correct i wouldn't do that you know what i mean go makes me feel at home i'm okay at go i'm i'm not very good at go aided my basic my basic uh, question comes down to uh, fan out, like a proper fan out implementation. So one channel, effectively, I can write to one, I can write to many channels. And so this is kind of what I came up with for my fan out, which is going to be a read write mutex. Only have to do a write lock whenever I mutate my set of listeners that I'm listening to or my set of channels. Everything else is going to be just read read locks, which should be fast, right? So if I'm if I'm only having a few writes and most and it's like it's gonna be like 99% reads and a few writes, I feel like this is okay. Wearing art, thank you for that tier one, man. That's what I do too, especially if you're not writing uh, to a slice a bunch. Yeah, yeah, I'm not writing to a slice a bunch. It's it's extremely like it's this happens only upon every new TCP connection, and this happens every time the TCP connection goes away. And the general idea is you'd hold on to your TCP connection for like an hour. You know what I mean? I do want to use more defers, though. You guys are so right on your use of defers, right? You're probably totally right on doing this kind of stuff. You're definitely right on, on, on the use of defers. Because I do stuff like this, which is just like, that's probably not the way to do it. I should probably be doing that. Can I do more than one defer? I mean, it's not really in an infinite loop. Like, this thing is saying don't do this, but why can't I do that? I guess I should, oh, wait, hold on. I should do that right here, right? I should do that right here. That would be better, right? And I guess I can, uh, it's, I already have a close on that one. That's where I'd want to do it, right? I'd want to do it right there, right? Yeah, I think I'm right on that one. Do, uh, doing defers inside of loops, uh, a for loop aren't great. Well, that's what I'm effectively doing is a defer inside a for loop, but I'm doing it right here. You're right. I shouldn't do that because then I'd hold on to this connection for way too long, and that doesn't mean anything. It makes no sense to do that. You're right. I should do it right here. I was being dumb anyways. You know what? That static check was a good check. Thank you, by the way, for the brand new tier ones right here. Appreciate that. And Adrian, thank you for the tier one 22 months. What is outer loop? It's a, it's a label. It's a label. All right, uh, I think I pretty much have CC uh, versioning on the server. There we go. And so now we're going to go into here, and we're going to go get push origin v2. And now it's time to go back to Lua, folks. We're going to go back to Lua, and we're going to jump into here. So this is Lua. So Lua does effectively the same things. So this is the one that runs in Vim. All right, is that a go-to? Yeah, it's pretty much a go-to. That's how go-tos work. You know what I mean? Thank you, though. Thank you for all the subs. Like, this is a... We, we got a hype train off of just subs with one gifted sub. Thank you. Hey, but I'm just a long-time lurker. Really enjoyed your content. I wish you were best of luck on going full-time streaming experiment. I don't know if it's going to be full-time. I don't know how long... You know, we're still... I'm still up in the air. You know what I mean? I'm still up in the air. You know what I mean? You, Siren. Hey, thank you for the tier one. How you doing, by the way? Hey, thank you. Cheese for the five community subs... Give me the meat and give it to me raw. Give, give me the meat and give it to me raw. 
do what you feel like. That is not a good life uh, piece of advice, typically. You know what I mean? Like, typically, that's not usually advice you want to listen to. Hey, Tristan, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate that. Appreciate your content, brother. Well, thank you. Uh, he be dead. And just switch to the concave split keyboard. So difficult. Yeah, it takes a moment. Tuck, uh, t- uh, tuck, 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 tuck. Do things and don't do other things. That's true. Uh, what is that nice drink? I was doing a cherry bubbly. I'm actually going to get a second one. Actually, I just got a facial. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, everybody, for all the subs. Holy cow. I mean, look at this. Okay, first off, typically, like, I would say on a stream that's incredible, I will get, like, three new tier one subs. Okay, that's, like, typically what would be considered an amazing stream for me. Brand new tier one sub. Okay, okay, okay. Brand new tier one sub. Brand new tier one sub. I I think there's even another one somewhere right around here. Brand new tier two sub. Crazy, brand new tier one sub. That's crazy, crazy. That's crazy. George, uh, George thank you. Imagine entering the stream for the first time and you hear a Prime. I got a facial. Yeah, whatever. You made it, dude. I know. This is awesome. Prime, give me the meat and give it to me raw. Thank you. I don't. I try not to take much for nonsense. Okay, so now we got to do the Lua side. So the Lua side is not. It has a parse function, but the parse isn't. You know, like. This isn't the version anymore, right? I now need to have I need to now have a one in there, right? That's what should happen. Right? And now I need something like version in here as well. So this TCP parse needs to kind of like we need to grow a level. Does that make sense? Hey, thank you very much, Moon Steroid. I appreciate that. Har Yarj Sumi. Thank you very much, Jano. Thank you for the tier one. Let's go. And JVDY Dev. Hazen Streams, Tristan. Damn, Tristan, thank you for the commitment. The commitment burrito, uh, b- burrito coding. I see you're managing versions inside the code manually. Go provides version out of the box. Now, I'm not. Th- that's because it's a TCP. It's a TCP connection, dog. It's a TCP connection. Okay. So it's kind of like important. It's kind of important that I do this. Uh, Alessander, appreciate that, and Mogal, appreciate that. So let's see, what do we got here? So here we go. So here's kind of where my problem is, right? So I'm going to get this index. We can't do it, right? I should write something a little bit more convenient here. Don't you think? I almost, it's almost, okay, I I feel like I could write this better. Now that I've written one parser for my protocol, I feel like I could write a better parser. Now, um, uh, um, M. John, thank you for that. And uh, Mr. Hobbies, appreciate that. I think I could write a better parser now. Uh, Nut nut. (laughs) Thank you, Thelelo. Pog. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Hear me out on this one. A better parser. So right now, what I kind of do is I kind of have this like more brittle style code like this. Kind of annoying to do. Okay? It's, it's never been fun to write this type of code. That's like a very long procedural version, even though this totally does work. What works actually a little bit better is a class or a table in which you can push data into. And then it just has its like nice little hidden state that when it gets when it gets the version, uh, we get ourselves a version, right? When we get ourselves uh, the length, we get the length, and then we wait until we can parse out the remaining amount of this, and then we can return out this kind of stuff. And so that means if I get like a half packet, I don't have to have a bunch of crappy state and reparse everything else out. I can kind of pick it up. It's kind of like how you do web sockets. I just don't want to do it again. You know, I, I don't know. Do I really want to do it this way or just want to keep on cutting corners? I kind of like cutting corners. You know what I mean? I kind of like cutting corners. I don't, do I really want to like enterprise program this one out? Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus? I don't think so. Hey, M. John, thank you for the gifted sub. You, you who know, who knows you, Excala sucks. <laughs> Damn. What does the final protocol look like, by the way? It's, it's very, very simple. It's extremely simple. Um, it, because I, I'm because I'm using Lua, so you got to remember that the concessions I've made for this protocol is largely due to me using Lua. Okay, so that's very, very important. So that means it's a law. Lo- it's a string. It's not a byte array. I don't consider. I don't treat it like a byte array, even though everything I send is ASCII. So technically, I can treat it like a byte array. But it is just it's, it's Lua. And so the the first thing is the version, right? Then a colon. Then the length and a colon. And then this part is the length. And typically what this is going to be is a command, which doesn't have to be one character, by the way. It can be many characters. A colon and then the data for the command, right? So this is L. 
So not including this, right? Not that this is where the semicolon is, is outside the L. So that's my uh, protocol. Pretty straightforward. Not, nothing really hard. It's it's effectively just like it's like a really stupid version of of what's it called? Of like HTTP two, right? It's it's like really simple. Nothing about a pssst. Thank you for that tier one and Lyrex. Let's go and Mr. Wick. Hell yeah. Smoosh and fire. Yeah, exactly. All right. I got to go back. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I played this song too many times, and you guys can tell me I played it too many times, but it's just like it's like deep in my bones. I can't believe you're not throwing huge amounts of Jason over the wire. Yeah, you know, I didn't want – like honestly, it's, 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 it's honestly easier to do it this way. I totally understand why people do it this way, but I'm just, I, I just love Raw Dog and Jason. I love Raw Dog and TCP and trying to build something that's, well, like this. I, if, for whatever reason, I find it more fun. Like, we could totally proto buff slash Raw Dog some JSON, but it's way cooler to just like make up your own protocol and just use TCP. You know, like, why not? Like, why not? You know, it's a, it, this is a personal project. So, why not have more fun? Like anybody, like if, if if you're building for a company and doing all that, then yeah, that makes more sense. But I'm not building for a, a company. I'm building for me. So that's also another reason why I didn't do UDP because UDP means that I have to build in a uh, packet reliability and I don't want to do packet reliability. You know what I mean? Because that means I'm going to have to get sent a packet and I'm going to have to do probably NACs. Right, so I'd have to do negative acknowledgments, but the problem is, is that I wouldn't know that I have a negative acknowledgement until the next packet comes. So doing something like negative acknowledgments work really well in media transfer protocols on top of UDP, but that's because you're getting like 80 packets a second, where I'm not getting 80 packets a second. I may get a packet once every 10 seconds, and so that causes a whole problem when you have to knack something a long time ago, and that means I have to keep state on the server, and I don't want to keep state on the server, right? And so it makes way, 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 way more sense just to use TCP and experience a slight bit of lag and kind of the difficulties that come with TCP, but every single packet I'm going to be sending should fit within one MTU, so it should be pretty simple to do. And so that way I don't have to really think about it because the throughput of a single like MTU'd packet, I, I should be able to keep everything under about a hundred bytes, except for renders. Right now, we're sending down the entire thing, which is a two packet proto, a two packet response. Everything else will be a single singular packet. So it's like that makes sense, right? Does that, do, do you understand why I'm choosing these things? It's like truly just a, a it's like a practical trade off. It's like that fun trade off of being like super fire fun personal project and also being practically uh, achievable. Cause I don't want I don't want to do I don't want to do UDP and all that shit. Hey, thank you, Theo, for that tier three, 23 months. Hell yeah, sup nerds. Hey, knock to a dev. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I swear every time I stream, you've dropped 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Purplish, with that tier one. Just, it seems just like yesterday. Hell yeah. Thank you for the brand new tier one. That's like my ninth brand new tier one. Holy shit. Thank you very much. N one base indices are extremely difficult. Holy cow. Are the commands Vim commands? No, they're not. They're not Vim commands because that would cause a whole shit story on my system if i let you if i let a server send me vim commands at some point someone would hack my vim commands uh, my server and cause me to literally shit my pants like that's not that ain't happening that ain't happening so i'll have program i'll have programmatical commands not to do anything you know what i mean for years i thought udp stood for unreliable data protocol it, it, that's it, it, it pretty much that's it you, you pretty much got it. It is unreliable data protocol. That's like, that actually would be a ve very valid name for UDP. Anyone for coffee? Appreciate that. Kill it a man. Inspiring. Hey, thank you. And hollow. Thank you for the tier one. Can you see my previous? No, you should have just sent it. Uh, Cause now I'm going over here, dog. All right. So the first thing I got to grab is actually version. Now, Theo, how are you doing? By the way, if version does not equal version, well, guess what? We need to do something. We need to return like an oh shit, something bad has happened. This TCP connection needs to get destroyed. You know what I mean? Actually, I guess we don't read. You know what's really funny is on the client side we don't read. Oh shit! I never even thought about that. On the client side, we don't read. The version, we don't care about the version coming down. The version going up will be stomped by the server right away. Dow Wright, oh my goodness, that is a name I have not seen in a minute. Dow Wright, how are you doing? Hey, Berman, how are you doing? Thank you. And AVN, you, you staying out of trouble, Dow Wright? Uh, I suggested a JavaScript frameworks where I work because we weren't giving me a raise. I told them to shift to JavaScript libraries. It's better than other languages. 
I don't even know what that means, to tell you the truth. While one fork, fork these nuts, I'm having an interesting day. Too much news in the last 24 hours. Yeah, there's a lot of news in the last 24 hours. All right, so we don't actually need version. Like, what do I do if the server's mismatch? That should already come down. I want it, I want it so that right the moment you join, you send an identity, effectively, to the server. Like, hey, I'm this person. Which could also be like, hey, I don't have an ID. And then the server will respond with, you're not a valid version. You need to go upgrade. Does that make sense? Yeah? Does anyone think cloud is going to take over the world? No. What is toe number? <laughs> you know what toe number is. The planet scale news just plain suck. What's the planet scale news? Are you guys updating? Are you guys doing what you're supposed to be doing? Because tomorrow we have a, f what, four to five hour article stream? Or am I going to get cloud... Where is it? I don't see. I don't see no planet scale. Okay. I don't see no planet scale. Where's my that? Wait, look, look, look at this. Enterprise Hello World only takes eight gigs. That's impressive. Ooh, this is spicy. Thank you, somebody doing it. I'm gonna. We're gonna do that one, man. There's so many good ones we're gonna do. This is also fantastic. Let's check the Twitterees. Interesting. Feature flags are ruining your code base. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hold on. Uh, when are you going to review your honest opinions on Go? I will do my honest opinions on Go when I have a bit more, um, when I have a bit more uh, time. My honest opinions on Go right now is like pretty great. Planet scale forever. Damn. Okay, well. Okay, very cool. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to read the article because we don't want to do this, but I mean, I'm happy that they're doing this, like real talk. I know I'm doing a pre-react right now, but this is good. Like, that's a good thing. This is a good thing. When you use a service that relies on data and you are storing your, your startup on it and they don't prioritize being profitable, like, you're just asking to get fucked, okay? Okay. Like, what do you want with your life? You know what I mean? Anyways, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I want to hear more about this. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll, we'll look more about this tomorrow. Or they sell the Salesforce like Heroku. Yeah, and Heroku sucks. Heroku. Have you ever wanted to find out what Fisher Price does for launching things? All right. Anyways, there we go. So we're gonna do this one. See, like, man, I gotta figure out. See, this is where I kind of want to do. Like something a little bit nicer. I, I I can almost see how I could write this nicer, so I don't have to effing do something stupid. Um, uh, assert uh, version equals version version mismatch. Yeah, because like I don't want to do this. Right, this feels really frustrating. Right, we're gonna do this, and then we gotta do this, and then we gotta go like this, and then we have to have a version length, and we gotta do this, and if this thing equals nil, and then we gotta do that, and then we gotta do this, and then we gotta do this, and then we do this, and 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 what? Where the hell is the thing? If uh, if length is uh, greater than string length chunk, um, then we got ourselves another problem. You know what I mean? I think that's what I need to have. See, I got I got to do like some understanding here. See, I uh, crap. I'm making a lot of changes. I'm not even thinking about it. My brain is running. Uh, Dornex Ham, thank you very much. Thoughts on Coolify? People, put can can someone please put the planet scale thing in the primary act so I can just see it tomorrow? Because I don't want to forget about it. Because I will forget about it. Right, I will most certainly forget about it. Uh, Richie Lauer. Appreciate that. Uh, I'm interested in what Quick is doing, and uh, let's see, and that sits against HTMX where uh, each would fit. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an HTMX guy. I, 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 I argued with. Uh, I, I don't know how much I buy into the Quick thing. I think it's pretty smart. I think, uh, I think it'll be very successful. It's just like, I don't think I want that. Does that make sense? 
Like I'm positive they will be successful. I'm positive they'll do a great job. I'm positive they will make great products. Uh, Mishko, uh, 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 Patrick JS, really, uh, to- we're talking like top shelf, t- uh, top shelf talent. So like I'm positive they'll execute well. It's just like that's just not for me. Does that make sense? I, I, this is what I do for all my stuff. I'm not going to read the stuff. I'm not going to read any of it. So that's that's my that's my honest opinions on Quick. You can use you can use it all you want. It's just not going to be for me. <coughs> that's a different Quick, but yes, I do agree with you. Quick is extremely difficult. You going to watch uh, Dune? Oh hell yeah, I'm going to watch Dune. I'm very excited about that. By the way, did I do Golang correct? Is this how you do Golang? What do you think? Is this Golanging? Am I Golanging? Where's the code? It's right, it's right there. It's right there. All right. Um, I'm positive I've effed this up. I'm positive that there's no way this is going to be correct. Here, I'm going to get rid of all this other crap. We're going to go right there, and then I'm going to have these two right here. So I have this thing. I have my little parse right here, three to five. Let's go. Parse should have... Um, why is that not jumping to stuff? Why does that not jump to stuff? Because I'm pretty sure I should have a parse function, right? Oh, I no longer have a parse function. Oh, shit. I'll just expose the parse function, whatever. That's fine. Uh, we're going to go like this. We're going to take... All right, so we got the... Parse takes the chunk, the length, and the start. All right, so that means I should have this. And I should have a start of one, two, three, four, five, right? So that would be I, th- uh, like I think. Okay, so that that does technically parse and all that. So we're we're looking good. We got that thing. So that that does work. I'm happy about that. Moquette, I appreciate that. So now here's the real question: Is that how do I test this process packets? I'm going to have to hand it chunks, and ensure that I can process packets well, right? Because that's the hard part is um, is uh, process packets. Because this is really where all the complexity of, of, of this algorithm is going to come. Uh, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to do, let's see, let's actually go. I'm going to, I'm going to actually like really make it so that it, it's, it's, it's really broken up. You know what I mean? Uh, let's go seven. Right. Hell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold on. Eight, nine, ten. I think that's right. There we go. So we got our chunks, right? So that should be my protocol right there, right? That's a good protocol. We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. And so then I could have my, uh, I could process packets, right? Can I, gosh, I hate the fact that I'm exposing these. I really don't like exposing things, right? I really don't like exposing things. You know what I mean? I mean, unless if you know, unless if you know what we're talking about, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, unless if you know what we're talking about. All right, so I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go nil. Yep, uh, expect data to equal nil. And then we're going to do this again. We're going to go command equals this one. And so this should still be uh, no. No, it should not be that. It should be nils and nils. And then we should do this one, which should return a... Here, Here's a good one. Here's a good one. This one's a good one, which should return out... A, the command should be an R, and the thing should be hell. All right, good. And then I should be able to do this again, and this should be uh, four up that thing. Da, bap, 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 bap. And yap that one. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. And five, and it should be another R, and it should be uh, hello world. Yes. So if I've done this all correct... Okay, we didn't do it correct because I'm 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 literally I'm I'm an actual effing loser. People, I'm an 
I'm a... Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <sighs> All right, let's go back to that one song. That one song that I'm obsessed with that I didn't listen to because we started talking and then I, I missed the song. Okay. Greetings from Chile. Uh, got any good wisdom books to recommend? Oh, The Great Divorce. I really liked that one. You know, it really shows the... Uh, the progression of being stuck on something and how if if ad infinitum being able to go to eternity, how it can wreck who you are. It's pretty great. Where even good and, and noble things such as loving your kid can be bad if taken to the extreme. It's a great book. Great book. Great book. Great book. Loved it. All right. Anyways, what's up, Prime? Can I leave some D's nuts in the chat? Absolutely. Any dope books on algos uh, and DS and C? I don't know any in C specifically. How does your throat not hurt while you're doing this job? I don't know. It just doesn't. I, I, I literally was like real talk. I was when I was born and I came out and I started talking. My mom and dad and everybody told me that I have a voice that carries. That's what adults call it. I just have a voice that works. OK, I don't know what it is. I, I've never got a sore voice from talking. I just have to not scream. You know what I mean? Just don't scream and be a dummy. Okay, so let's go here and let's go to 32. So they're saying this thing was not nil, but in fact a five, which is just like horrendously incorrect. Okay, that means I'm not parsing the version correctly because a five is not it. A five is not it. That is not it. See, that's why it's, it's taking a length of one. See, it saw this as a length of one, not a version. So therefore, I need to come back here. Oh, yes. Man, I don't want to rewrite this, but I'm starting to feel like I can almost see it. It's like a series of functions that carry like a closure or something that slowly gets built up that you slowly keep on consuming until it builds out one of these things. And then I can see it. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you, Takan. It's like I can see how to do it. I just don't want to do it. Okay. You know what I mean? I just don't want to do it. So I should, let's go like this. Let's go print chunk, chunk. Uh, doesn't find, let's see. Is there not like a starting point? Yeah. See, this is pattern, init, integer plane. See, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dang it. Dang it. I got owned on the simplest thing ever, I think. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Uh, attempted to perform arithmetic on local lane, a nil value. Init Lua 66. Okay, so what is 66? So 66 is string.length, length plus this. This is not that. Why not? Let's go like this. Let's go print. Uh, let's go print length, length, uh, IDX, right? And then let's also go like this. Uh, prev IDX equals IDX. I just want to see what this thing has to say. Uh, prev IDX, there we go. And uh, just so I can go, uh, prev IDX, that, there we go. What do we got here? Length, nothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, we, wow, we, 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 wow, wow, we. Uh, print a version. Do I, do I at least got a version? Do I at least got a version? Boys, do we got a version? We got a version one. We got a version one. Okay. So then I do this one. I do this one. And did I get a nil? It feels like I should come out right here, right? So I should be able to go like this. Um, oh gosh, I'm turning this up. So we did get the nil on the index. Okay. And that's fine with me. And then after that, we got this guy right here. We got it right here. So why is that not working? That means we should be able to print this bad boy out and do this because. It... So I got two and four. I think that makes sense. That means I should be able to go like this here. I mean, that is this whole thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see what happened here. I see what happened here. I see what happened here. So that means I don't want to do that. I want to do prev IDX plus one up to index that one. That's that. That's it, people. That's the one. That is the one. Oh, shit. We actually got it. We parsed this thing right here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. That was so good. We got that one. First try, people. First try. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Yes. And can I go like this? Can I match this thing? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, how do I do a slash S uh, star? Yes. Yes. And then I got to go like this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That is, dude, this is, this is such a wild one. Wait, why didn't that work? Oh, it's because it's doing them to each one of them. Oh, that's beautiful. Can you believe I just did that? That was fantastic. That was fantastic. I am so happy about that. Okay, I know that was like not impressive for a lot of people, but for me, that was pretty great. Okay, I'm off road in there. Okay, look at that. So now this is our thing. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna have this chunks, which is actually just, just this, and we're gonna be able to take this bad boy out, and we're gonna yank that son of a bitch. We're gonna get this one in here, and then we're gonna do it again. We're gonna process it once more. We're gonna adapt that. We're gonna adapt it. We're gonna adapt it. We're gonna grab it, and we're gonna grab it by the pussy, and we're gonna put it right here, and we're gonna make it go. And look at that thing go. We grabbed it by the packets. Right by the packets, boys. There we go. Oh, that feels great. Whew. I got, to, I got to take a break for a second. I feel way too energized. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Grab it by the WAP. Wet-ass programming. Ooh, let's do this one. Yeah, there's a lot of bangers on this one. Let's just do this whole one. Bro got me excited for a minute, I know. It might be, uh, be that pussy that you grabbed. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! First try, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is actually pretty good. So I would say at this point, I have a pretty high confidence Lua now has versioning. Now we can do this. Now this is where the big, this is where the big, this is where like the hot dog can happen, okay? This is how, if I don't do this right, this is this is where it happened. This this is it. This is fucking it. All right. So the real question is the following. I don't know how this plenary uh, busted directory works, but what I need to be able to do is I need to be able to launch plenary. I need to be able to launch my server. I then need to be able to connect to the server. I need to be able to launch – I need to be able to send a message to the server and then have the server respond back. So what is the big way we can do this, right? This is, there's a lot to this that's, that's kind of difficult. And another thing I, I should probably also test is I don't know how to test – how do I test something sh should throw? How do I test something should throw? Like how, how do I – how do I uh, – Uh, there we go. I think I can go like this, right? I can go like this. I can go P call, right? And that would be okay. Uh, res let's see. And then I should be able to go, um, command data. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. So then I should be able to go like this. I could, I should be able to go EQ, uh, okay, false, right? Versioning works, boys. Versioning works. There we go. All right. So awesome. So versioning works. It will fail upon versioning. So that's a good thing. That's like kind of what we want, right? <sighs> All right. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. I got to get back into the zone. What the hell am I doing? I think this, the problem is that the music isn't, isn't, the, 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 the version, versioning works, but the music was plain, right? I, I need something more than that. You know what I mean? All right. There we go. All right. Uh, this man is dangerously close to the machine right now. I hope he's wearing protective equipment. We're trying to. Uh, see Drew. All right. Emax, CVMRC. Yeah, got him. Got him. All right. Anyways, okay. So we have this bad boy right here. This is looking good, okay? So that this is what we wanted. So now how are we going to do this? I kind of feel like, okay, just hear me out on this one.
how do we do this one? How do we do this one? Let's think about this for a second because I can I can do it. I can do an RC. If I'm not mistaken, cat scripts, uh, scripts, test minimal. So I can do this. Okay, so this is a possibility right here. And when I cat my make file, I do have the following. So I can do a headless no plugin U minimal right there. And by doing that, it will allow me to, you know, I kind of do have a minimal situation. You know what I mean? And so I could technically launch NeoVim headless. I feel like I need to call up TJ on this one. Is TJ streaming? Yeah. Does audio need to reach uh, Twitch or not? Uh, uh, I'll have audio uh, for you. This is a me, you question that is amazing. Hey, thank you, by the way, very much, Ma uh, Matricy. Okay. Oh. All right. Hey, hey. I know, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so here's 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 the, here's what's happening. I created a Go server that does all of the parsing of a custom format that I have for TCP packets, and I have it okay tested, right? Enough that I know that things generally work. I have a Lua side that also has the same versioning and everything that effectively works, and I know works and and, and decently. Now, I want to be able to create effectively an integration test. And so with that in mind, I'm trying to think of what would be the best approach here? Because one thing I could do, this is just my thoughts, is that I create a Go process that launches up my server, then launches the NeoVim process with a dash U and a path to some sort of a nit.lua that starts up the client, attempts to connect, and um, sends like so many packets my only thing that i'm having a little bit of a hard time is if i send packets to the to the lua side how do i know i'm getting them and what are some ways to validate like that lua is also receiving packets and parsing them correctly I just have like your standard, uh, just just your plen plenary busted directory ones or whatever. Correct. Sure. Okay, so there there will be some um, obviously some very asynchy nature to this. Uh, do 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 you have any examples or ways in which I can do like an asynchy test? One in which I'm like, okay, I'm not done until I obviously have to write to a socket. The server has to process it, then write a something back to me, like. That's right. Okay, I've I've used a, a vim dot wait before. Okay, I used it for vim apm. Okay. It, till variable changes. Yeah. Yeah. 
it, it will still feel like a unit test because it's so quick. You know, starting a server and connecting and sending that, yeah, it may be like a second long test. Yeah, we're not waiting for, a, we're not building JavaScript. You know, it's not like a long wait here. Uh, okay, then one last follow-up question, um, which is, what is your preferred method of launching processes? Because I know that there is one in plenary jobs, but I'm not sure if that has been replaced by something that's now up, uh, in NeoVim, or is it still plenary jobs that I should be using? I'm on uh, I'm on Neovim nine five. Uh, nil, nil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Okay, that that seems like a good idea. Just because that way I can just write it in one in in one style. And if I say use some sort of um, if I use NeoVim on you know for whatever in CI and it does just doesn't happen to be the right version, I don't really have to worry about it. It just works, and I'm writing it in a way that's pretty canonical or at least canonical going forward. Yeah, don't blame me. Yeah, the only thing I want is I probably want a for for me, I will want my Go server, I'll have it so that it runs like a specific test path where I send it a message and then it will print out on standard out the message it got and then echo it back slightly altered. And then I'll be able to read it back out. And so that way I know that it got it. I mean, I could just, I, cause, I guess I could technically just read the slightly altered one. But, you know, I always... Yeah, I want to test the whole the whole thing. I'm going to start up the whole thing. I wanted to print out a little bit just to kind of like say this is what I got, but I guess I don't really need to do that if I parse the packet correctly. I could technically parse the packet correctly, do some like fancy like I could palindrome everything effect like reverse all the orderings of the command and the data and then and go, "Okay, I know that I got it and I know that I got it successful in all the pieces and that they sent it back to me in reverse order." And so Okay, that It, it's a server, so it won't. I'll have to kind of like tell it to be dead after some amount of time. Because I also want to cl connect like multiple clients to it. You know, I should, you know. I may do that. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. I want to first start with 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it would be it'd be it'd be a lot of work for probably not a lot because I already know that my I already know that the go side does multiple well. So it's like if the go side already does multiple well, then I probably don't need to do anything. I'm just trying to get like an integration test. Can I go from NeoVim to Go and come back and we're setting the same packets and I made no oopsie daisies assumption between the two. Okay. Yeah, I'll just use vim.way with the condition. That that's a good one. I like it. Thank you. This is great. TJ streams. I think I already gave you a shout out or else I'd give you a shout out now. I think I think Nightshade dude got so horned up. He just he sent it out too quick and then it didn't uh you know, like no one knew that you had some chops on you. So they didn't know that you're given such wisdom and good advice. I know. Yeah, I know. What can you do? All right, peace. All right, I like that. That was a good, a good advice there. Good advice there. I liked it. Did you guys like it? I liked it. You know, this is, this is, this is why we like TJ. Because that's, I mean, I was generally trying to, I was, I was close to landing on the same solution. I just had a couple things. I was going back and forth, like, do I really want Go, Golang's easier to launch processes from, but I know you can do it from Lua. I know there's plenty area. I didn't know about this new Vim.system thing. And I've used Vim weight before, so that's a good, that's a good use too. And so it's like, okay, this is probably the right approach. Oh yeah, TJ's greater than me, for sure. And so it's like, that's probably the right Cheer 15. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Oh, it has 100 biddies. Keep the change, you filthy animal. There you go. How does that sound? Honestly, I love the, the bands between TJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Home Alone mentioned? Absolutely. So this is good. I really like this. That was a great job. Thank you, TJ, for that really good uh, information. I think that was perfect. I am very happy about that. Um, thank you, uh, Matricy, for the follow and and the sub. I think that happened while we were doing stuff. And Dornex Ham, I'm not sure if I said thank you, but thank you. I feel like I said that. Moquette, I don't think I said thank you, but thank you. And Kale, I really don't think I did. Thank you for the tier. Thank you for that tier one, baby. All right, so I feel like we got we we have everything in, in place now, ready to be ready to run. You know what I mean? We got everything in place, ready to run. Let's think about this last one, which I think is probably going to be, it's honestly like pretty, I think this one's going to be sucky to write, honestly, real talk. I, I, I'm not a huge, like integration tests are fantastic and they're usually the best way to go other than tests that are very difficult to, you know, to execute. Like what we've been doing with like TCP parsing, right? Obviously you're going to want to have tests for that. <sighs> These ones, they're a huge pain in the ass, but they're also really nice to have. So let's do it. Out of curiosity, I was checking Ruby and found this one. Ruby on Rails tutorial. Learn enough to be dangerous. Oh, nice. Hey, Paul. Thank you, Paul Lee. This sounds fun. Uh, let's see. I've been messing with the custom TCP server and client stuff and go too. Nice, nice. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, let's go like this. Integration uh, spec.lua. So let's... I'm going to have to close this thing really quickly while I go and grab the stuff from Tej. Okay. Thank you, Titty Boy. Wait, no, wait. That's Tilty Boy. <laughs> titty Boy. Thank you, Titty Boy. Appreciate that, okay? Appre you know what I'm talking about, Teddy Bob? Appreciate that, okay? Appreciate it. You know what I mean? Hey, Dirty Mind V Spectrum, thank you very much. Hold on, I got to open up a quick chat between Teej and I. Teej and I, Titty Bye. Titty Bye. All right, and then I'm going to make sure I... All, a huge mistake I always do is after I open up a chat, I leave the Discord in a bad spot. You know what I mean? That's always like my big goo goo goofs right there. You know what I mean? Tits out and God bless. Well, thank you. <laughs> you know what? Appreciate that. That is, you know, that was a Chad level first time chat. All right. That was ch Chad level right there. All right. So this is literally, 
I'm just going to take this whole thing. I think this is okay. I'm, I'm a little bit curious about the NeoVim licensing if I'm in trouble for this. I'll put a little note up there. You know what I mean? I'll put a little note uh, uh, to do. Uh, this is a copy of the uh, system.lua uh, Lua file from the NeoVim source code. I need to understand what it does and how it works. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, let's see. Uh, if any core dev uh, sees uh, sees this and feels I am breaking any license, uh, please let me know, and I'll move over to Plenary. Just didn't uh, didn't want to fracture. Uh, the API, or I, I didn't want to use a uh, legacy APIs. There you go. If anyone gets upset, I'm sure, I'm sure no one's gonna get upset. But if they do, respect, a lot of respect. Isn't Neo? I don't know if it's that. I don't know if it is. I don't. I don't know it's licensing. You know what I mean? I'm upset. Uh, well, thank you. Integration will go like this. Uh, Vim system equals a Vim system or. Uh, local system equals require. Oh, actually, we do this. We'll go like this. Uh, local system equals vim dot system or require uh, vim with me system. There we go. Windows mentioned. I know it's for office hours coming up. Last night I was dead tired and started coding problem thinking, oh, I have no idea how to do this. I heard Prime's voice in my back of my head saying, yes, you do. Uh, I pooed out a solution and it succeeded first run. This is how I know God is real. F factual uh now that we have that let's go like this uh let's add this one to our thing and go up here and i'm gonna go like that and we're gonna go here Ooh, boys we are it's about we're we're about to get wicked wicked good going on here okay here we go Ooh, tell me this is just not this is just not good. Tell me it's not good. Tell me it's not good, except for Warren Buffering. He's not allowed to answer this question. Integration. Integ integrate. Integrate. Into integration. Testing. There we go. I am not God. For sure I'm not God. Um, easy. Easy answer there, buddy. All right. And then I'm going to go like this. Vim APM. Jump here for a quick second. And I'm going to go to a spec file. I'm pretty sure I have it in full ass integration. There we go. Got the full ass one right here. Where's my weights? I know I have some weights in here. There we go. So this is how you use weight. Okay, interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good one. Psych. Psych. Uh, who is this Maria? And why do you keep parking on? Okay, uh, you want to link me the license? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Are you doing a streams like a mid uh, break work? Yeah, I'm just doing a little. I'm doing a little mid break work. I, I really want to get this stuff done, and it seems like really great stuff to to do. All right, so are you tell me I have to put this on the top of the systems file. I have to put this in, on top of the systems file, right? What's up, Doctor D? First off, I ain't no doctor. Uh, that's fine. Nice. Just as a file in the project. Oh, I have to. I have to adopt the same licensing. Is that what it is? Yeah. Do do, do I have to adopt the same licensing? Starting a free trial, free trial of boot.dev. Do it, baby. Um. All right. Not super soon, though. Okay, I don't know what you said. I'm not sure what you're, I'm not sure what you're saying to. We'll, we'll we'll get there. All right, we're gonna let's let's just focus on this for now. Okay, so we have the system, which means that I'm gonna need to do a run, which means I'm gonna need to do a Golang run, right? I'm gonna need to go like this: go build, right? 
Is this async? Is there an on exit? Okay, yes. Uh, local uh, done uh, done building uh, equals uh, false. There we go. And we will be doing all of this here shortly. So let's go back to the go side of things. Go command. Wait, what is it? It's like command go server main. Let's jump in here and let's have a test server, which is going to be a little bit different, right? Uh, oh, I need more. I need more tunes. I need more of this. I need more of this. All right, so when we get this, we're gonna we're gonna jump in here and we're gonna have one of these and we're gonna just start up a new TCP server. And I kind of feel like we need a uh, OS. Uh, quick question: Can I do this? Can I? I assume I can. I assume I can just run something like um, uh, vim with me uh, port equals I don't know one two three four five. Like I assume that that is that is kosher. Whoa, what happened there? Wait, what is going on there? That was some weird keys that were getting pressed. All right, I assume I can do that. 42069, right? There we go. So we, we have this little build, and then I'm going to go like this. Uh, I'm going to go command, uh, test server, main go, done building this one, uh, vim await uh, 1000, return done building. I'm pretty sure that's it. Cannot assign. Wait, hold on. Command ops, system ops on an exit. I wonder what the system ops are. I'm going to have to look at that. There we go. The first one is actually a string. Oh, it's like an array. It's an array ass of arrays. Command, table, ops, this one, table, true, on exit, vim, validate. It's a command. Okay, so I have to do something along the lines of, of this. I never understand these like table style things. Does that mean I do something like this and then break up each one of these? Is that what they want me to do? I never understand what these things are supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Uh, I like uh, to do commands. I'm not sure what the hell you just said, but okay. Uh, let's like this. I'm not going to lie to you. What the hell did you just say? Print. Uh, let's like this. And where 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 do these files go? Build, um, test, server, main dot go. Where where do these go? They just go right here. Main. Okay. Okay. It literally just builds a main. Is there a way to name this? What's the way to name a build file? Uh, help. Is there a way to name this thing? Go build O. O O is O is O O O. Damn. O name. Okay. O oh, oh face. Um, all right. So I got to go in here. So we're gonna want to build that, and then I do something like O, and we're gonna call this one. I I'll just make sure that's called main. I guess I don't know what the hell to call this thing. We'll call it test server, and then we'll do a git ignore, and we'll also add test server, and we'll also add main to this, and so now we have this thing. And I'm just going to see, can I just get to um, test server done, print done, uh, local uh, done running equals false, uh, done running equals true. Is there a way to get the output? What comes in this output? On exit, what kind of, fun what kind of function is on exit? How do I get the standard out? Set up output. Oh, standard out. What, what is this thing supposed to be? Standard out supposed to be a function string data. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. So I can go, so that means I can do standard uh, out. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, you want to do that? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to want to go like this. NeoVim. This one, Vim with me, integrate, integ I honestly don't even know how to spell integration. Am I even close to spelling this thing correct? First try, I can't imagine that's going to work first try. 
Up value, you, what's up value? System 455, wait, hold on. Oh, sh my goodness. Okay, uh, system uh, UV. All right, no such file. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, oh, okay, no such file. Vim with me, system 540, no such file. Tried the spawn what? Okay, so this is interesting. This is interesting. Interesting. Vimport uh, should go in the env, right? Can I? Oh, can I do an env? Can I do an env? I think you're probably right here. Let's. Yeah, you're probably right here. Let's 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 get rid of this first. Let me make sure that this works. All right. You know what? File. Uh, present working directory. Uh, standard out. I'll just, I'll just vim wait. I'll just literally vim wait this one. I'm just going to literally vim wait this one. Okay, so chat is dumb. And if I go like this, ls. What do you mean? That, 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 why doesn't that work? What, I wonder what the... Is there like a... Do I... I there's not a present working directory. I Alex? Who the hell is Alex? Who the hell is Alex? How do I do... Is there a way to do an absolute... Absolute... Uh, shit. How do I do an absolute path? Uh, how do I do an absolute path here? How do I do an absolute path here? Other than specifying it. I don't want to go like this. Okay, so that did not do anything. Oh, that's because it's called chat is dumb. I'm not the dumb one! No such file. Okay, so, bullshit. Right there. I just did a girlfriend. Girlfriend, girlfriend. Okay, so this ain't me. Oh my gosh, DTC. All right, so I don't think it's that. I think we got something else going on here. So if I go like this, go build a command, a test server, mango, a test server, right? Well, okay, so maybe that's part of my problem. I do not like what I'm listening to. I think part of the reason that I don't like what's happening, I don't like the song that's playing. Okay, the song that's playing is making me very angry. D to C down to cry. Yeah. Uh, all right, so that's at least, at least we are somewhat close. Let's go. Oh my goodness, that was an impossibly difficult problem. What the hell was that error message? You put the dash O at the end and you get wrong file? What the hell is that all about? My goodness, it was the song. Dude, what the, what the hell is that all about? All right, so we're going to run the test server. I'm not going to lie to you. What was the problem? The problem was is that I had a dash O at the end. The problem was is that this was my problem. As I was executing this command right there build dash o test server the dash o should have been right here classic 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 a classic all right so that means we're gonna run the server we don't need this standard out f your standard out f your shoes f your shirt we're gonna just do this little done running which we're gonna be done here soon we don't even want to do done running to, uh, to, to tell you the honest truth we're not even gonna be doing done running okay we're not even gonna be doing any of this let's just jump in here and go like that okay dt opening parenthesis we're gonna run this son of a bitch and then you know what we need to run we need to go in here and we need to create a tcp server i'm gonna go like this vim wait uh, i'll wait 100 milliseconds just to you know make sure that everything is good you know that we're not having no 
bullshit. We're going to have a TCP, TCP start options, of course, is going to be the following port is going to be 42069. Let's jump up here and go local port equals 42070 because we're, we're so, we're so, we're just, you know what I mean? 420, uh, 42070. All right, we're going to jump in here and we're going like this. Vim, uh, Vim with me port equals percent these nuts str string format yeah do that i'm just hoping this works i'm just hoping this works not sure what copilot just did there honestly i have no idea what copilot just did there i'm confused i actually am like a little bit scared and slightly confused all right so if i do this one uh do i really need a host do i really need a host host equals zero 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 no wait i can't use that yeah yeah Wait, what is, what are my options? I don't even have this as a thing. I don't even have this as a thing. I'm not even using it. I'm not even using those ones. You know what? Forget about it. All right, so there we go. So we're going to do this little TCP start. We're going to hang out here. And then what do we need to do? I think TCP start probably needs something a little bit more. You know, I think we need a little bit more, uh, like, action here, right? Which is going to be a CB, right? We're going to have a CB, which is going to be a, f a function or a nil, okay? All right, so there we go. We got that thing. And so now when we do this and we hit the actual TCP start, what the hell is going on here? We have the CB right here. When we do it, we're also going to jump in here and go CB, let's go. And no, now we're down here and we're going to go function uh, and, you know, we'll do one of those. And we're going to go like this, uh, local, let's see, uh, connected equals true. There we go. We're going to go local connected equals false. And then we're going to jump down here and we're going to go vim wait. Let's go function. Uh, what is it? Uh, we'll, we'll wait for three. I don't know. We really shouldn't have to do that. There we go. Still reading 100 goal mistakes? I am. I am. I am. Uh, all right. So there we go. And so let's go like this. If we can create this, that means we have done it. We have like success. People, we have success. Success connected. Let's go. Okay. So we can't, we cannot do this. That is just not, in, in, in a, it's just not a thing we can do. Okay, it's just not a thing we can do. How do we set, how do we do this? No, shut up, Copilot. Copilot, shut up. Yes. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay because we didn't do it. How do I get uh, arg? Uh, read arg uh, port. Uh, port equals, I don't know how to read an arg. What is it? No, fuck you. OS, is it args1? Is it args1? Is it args1? W, thank you. Pat back, overwatch. Flags parse. Is it? You know what? I'm just going to go like this. Number two, okay? You know what? We're just going to go number two, okay? I'll check out the flags later. We just want to do this, okay? F, just F. Just let a man do this, okay? Port. Uh, come on. Okay, there we go. This is looking good. Uh, port. Oh, dang it. Uh...
Wait, what do you mean it's undefined? Oh, that's undefined. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. We have all this one. Format has a wrong type. Okay. Uh, give me the D. I'll give you the D. As a wrong type. All right, this one, uh, new TCP. Uh, what, what comes out of here? We come. We should come out here with uh, server and er and equal that. And now that we have that, we're going to go like this and bring up this thing and uh, eight. And we'll do one of those and do one of those and could not start the server percent V. There we go. And do one of those. And if that's the case, we're going to go server dot f just yes, yes. All right, let's see if we can send. Can we send? Can we send a singular error? What do you think? What do you think? Yeah? Do you, can we, or a, a singular packet? I think so. But let's first find out if we can do this. Let's go. Come on. Come on. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. Can we connect? Okay. We did not even connect. I don't know what happened there. We don't know what happened. We didn't quite do it. Uh, feeling, I'm, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm feeling a little, uh, I'm, I, I don't know what happened. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I knew it was going to be taken. You know why? Because we probably didn't exit correctly. And so it's all fudged up. Okay, it's all fudged up, and now look at that. Okay, so I don't know why that didn't get connected. I don't know why we didn't get connected there. Okay, that's not making much for sense. I, you know what I need to do? Uh, let's go like this. Let's go server dot. You know what I need to do? I need to have a close, don't I? I don't have a close here, do I? Orphaned ports? Yeah, dude, I know. Sh shut up, shut up. We, 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 mistakes were made. Okay, I kind of feel like I need this whole defer. How do I want to do this? Because here's the problem is I have this. This isn't the thing I want. Okay, this is not the thing I want. <sighs> you know what I should do? Probably just add this, this thing to the TCP, huh? Right? Probably add it right there. Not that I wanted to do that. Not do this thing. We're going to do that thing. We're going to hit him with a little t.listener, right? We're going to do one of those. And then down here, we're going to remove that thing, and we're going to have this nice little go funk listen. And then we're going to have this. We're going to have funk, yourself, close, t.listener, close. Yeah, suck it all the way through the sky. Do one of those. And the listeners. Yeah? Go funk yourself. There we go. You know what? I kind of feel like this is the way. To, I, I, I've been liking this with go. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, that... I like the fact that I, I do listen here without the go defer, and I do the go defer here. I think that's the way to do it. What do you mean there's a LinkedIn tragedy? What the hell's the LinkedIn tragedy? What the hell's the LinkedIn? It needs to be on a shirt. What? Which one? It's down? LinkedIn is down? Shit. Is it one word? Yeah, that's... <laughs> like, what, what do you want? All right, there you go. That's how I feel. This is how I feel about LinkedIn. Okay. Feel bad? No, I don't. I genuinely don't. 
still don't think about you. Uh, let's see. Can you do a tutorial on how do you, uh, you do your mustache? Yeah. I sit down in the morning, realize that I'm an actual man and my mustache proceeds out of me. Simple as that. You could try giving it a try. Uh, you know, you, you probably couldn't honestly do it. I, I mean, I think you can, you can give it a try. You, what am I saying? You, you can't do it. Um, all right. So why is this thing not starting? All right, we'll go like this. Uh, starting a server with, uh, starting server. And then we get this. I remember I don't like the first like six minutes of this song. Yeah, I like I like this part. There we go. Uh, why not args one, uh, shut up, that's why. Oh, come on. Really, did I not, did I not get this? Did I really not get this? Uh, server started and waiting for command. Uh, slash n, eight up, slash n, I got it, uh, okay. Oh my goodness, I still have this, how do I unorphan this mother french fry TCP server to port? Gosh darn it. All right, can I go back to this one? Dang it, that one's also still in use? Shoot. All right. Um... Would that help? I gotta figure out how to fix that situation, okay? I gotta, fi okay, so like, look at that, I'm waiting. So why didn't it turn true? Why did that not go true? Oh. F oh my goodness, great. Now I got that. Please tell me that I at least did it, did it. Dang it, dang it! Darn it! We're just orphaning ports left and right! It's a massacre, I tell you, dude. It, it actually is. <gasps> okay, this is my fault. This one is my fault. All right, that is my fault. That one's my fault. I will say that I F that one up. And I am truly very... Yes. I am such a genius. I want you to know that now. I want you to know that right now. Genius is happening right now, okay? It's happening. Okay, because I'm going to go like this, TCP, and guess what? I'm going to send it. I don't even have an ability to write. I actually don't even have the ability to write. Did I really not? Am I? Have I not? Did I not write that in? Oh, shit. I don't even know. I don't even have the ability to write. I haven't even... Well, that sucks. CC feature. The integration test is almost complete. Uh, and I almost have no ports. All right. There we go. And get push origin. V2. 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 All right, people. If you can't accept me uh, at my orphaning ports, you don't deserve me at my Tom DSL. That is a fact of life, okay? This is a fact of life. People, it looks like we got pretty far. This is just like, I mean, this is the unfortunate underbelly of working. Do you know what I mean? This is this is what it looks like to build out stupid projects, right? It's these countless hours of making this kind of crap work. And this is where I'm at right now, okay? This is where I'm at right now. So I'm going to have to make it so that I can send up stuff, and there we go. Uh, is it possible to buy your Rust Coast without? No, it's not. All right. Ignoring my hard work uh, just to watch your harder work. Yeah, it's very hard, baby. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get this thing finished. I'm going to get it finished. 
not now though. I have to. I have a lot left still to do on it. I think there's a lot of cool stuff I can do, but man, is this hard or what? I just got to get it so that I can really have confidence that I'm able to launch a server, write to it, do something with the data, and write it back down and call it a day. You know what I mean? And once I can do that, I'm going to be a happy camper. And then there we go. So then the next thing is that I need to actually have like login flows and all this other crap, which is going to be kind of a pain in the ass to do, but we're going to do it. I think there's probably an easy way to do this. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? <sighs> there's still a lot of work to make this into a platform that's actually usable and just actually works. By the way, uh, one thing I'm going to be adding will be a Terso uh, multi-tenant like off the rip, right? So... It, I work at Fo he works at Fox News, by the way. Fair and balanced. Uh, I'm gonna do Terso multi-tenant off the rip, and I'm pretty excited about that. I think that that's gonna be good. And so, that's pronounced faux news, you dummy. Uh, I thought Vi I thought Vim APM was dead. No, it's not dead. I'm just building the platform for it. You forget that writing something like that takes a f just a just a. F it takes an effort to get it to work, okay? So I have to build the go side and the and, and the other side, and I'm gonna have it really awesome. And then once I get once I get that all running and really tight, then I go to the next level. Why are you coding TCP and how is this related to tower defense? How do you think the tower defense is communicating with the server? via LinkedIn. Where's the code? I have finished 90% of this, got 10% of the work done. I mean, I have the hardest part. I'm, I'm trying to finish the hardest part, I know. I'm trying, oh, it's Dan Clancy. I'm trying to finish the hardest part of the whole thing, which is just like really getting the, um, really getting the the underbelly of it really nice. Do you know what I mean? Okay, shut up. I'm going, okay? And so I'm going to let you guys decide. You guys decide. I'll abide by the poll. And so I, I just really have to get that right. Like if I, I don't want to dick around trying to f figure out why my TCP stuff or my rendering stuff just doesn't work, Okay. There you go. You guys get. To, you guys decide. I will. Uh, I'll do whoever. Right. And so this is that. This is that ten percent of the project that is just. Uh, just awful. Right. This is the ten percent that sucks. And thank you, Iris. Holy shit! That's like my nineteenth brand new tier one appreciate that i've been working so i'm not following very well and i'm struggling to recreate a grid shit sag yeah grid is hard grids are effing annoying shy rai <laughs> nobody wants grids but uh i'm i'm, I'm probably uh honestly uh, i like that part of the projects i typically don't um i what i'm gonna do is i'm going to focus really deeply on just making sure i have all the right stuff because like that's if if I could just nail this part, never have to look at it again, and just like run some unit tests, and it just runs, and I know that it's good, then I can make sure that this thing just works so creamy smooth. Like for me, that is the most important part of this entire process. And once I get that done, damn, I'm gonna feel so dang good. You know what I mean? I'm gonna feel so good because then we can just build. We can just we can literally build Vim APM. I can build. Uh, I can build the tower defense, and all I have to do is connect to it and send it my uh, my effectively my UUID, and it'll be like you are the controlling TCP socket. What are we doing? And it will just run. Like that's pretty amazing. Wait, whoa, whoa! It's your birthday today, Shy. It's your birthday today? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Congrats. Happy birth. Everybody, you can give me a subs for Shy Ryan's birthday. Um, happy birthday, Shy Ryan. Appreciate that. I hope that your day goes amazing. There you go. There's some grift. 
That's what we're talking about. We're getting some grift. Uh, you guys do you guys, you guys do good. You guys do good. Have fun. Shy Ryan, happy birthday.